Hello, everybody. I think I'm ready to get started. Let's give a special shout out to a new follower between streams. Thank you, Alan Dulling. I see we have seen the fennel. Welcome, Chris. So let's let's set the tone a little bit. Plus, we got to wait for people to trickle in since I started a few minutes early today. Appropriate music, I guess. So we're listening to the remake soundtrack. I'm going to let you know, I I was absolutely not a fan of the Secret of Mana remake. So I have a lot of reservations coming into this game, but I'm going to try to come in with a mostly clean mind and attitude. There are a lot of things that they can fix from the original game. There is a lot of ways they can mess up what the original game had. So I'm not really sure what to expect. I have not seen this played before. I have not played this before. We've technically played the original version of the game. And I would say my biggest complaints of that, if I had to very briefly summarize, that I'm hoping are resolved, and we'll revisit these at the end of the session. Combat. Menus. Grinding. I thought combat was way oversimplified in the SNES version. There were too many forced encounters, especially towards the end of the game. And it wanted you to be a hilarious level for classes to matter. So I also want to see the rewards for exploring this place. I'm hoping we find more random items. I'm hoping we found, find like literally any chests anywhere at any point because treasures and the will to explore was like 0% in the previous game. Some of the worst reward to exploration radio ratio I've ever seen. So I'm hoping levels do more, combat is more fun, and hopefully there won't be too many drawbacks. I I doubt the menus will be as atrocious, but you know you don't want to you don't want to curse yourself on that one. Don't want to say it too soon. They could still mess up the menus, you know, like you know VP two exists after VP one. I'm just saying, chat, like we've seen it before. That later games don't necessarily mean an improvement. So, <laughs> yeah, I know. So I'm not really sure what to expect. Other than, I got as far as trying the combat very briefly, just to make sure the game is working. So, I guess based on the music we're hearing, I don't feel like I'm internally dying and want to scream. So I think we'll leave it when we go to play the game on the remake version. So let's explore a little bit the uh, different options that are available in the game itself as we wait for a couple more people to trickle in. Otherwise, it'll be all up to Chris to decide our playthrough. And I know Chris loves decisions. He's infamously known for loving to make those decisions. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I can't I cannot say the same about the Secrets of Mana one. I felt actively offended. This one feels like it's fine. Just, it's fine. So let's go ahead and see if we can swap into it. Ooh, I don't know what I called the scene. Let's find out together, chat. This will be a magical journey as I figure out what I called this. Note to self, name it better. Is this the one I'm thinking of? You're wide open. No, that's an alternative. Is it this one? Yes, it is. And this one is called... I called it Hades. I mean, technically true. We need to go back to Hades at some point. Hopefully the game will behave itself. There we go. We'll revisit the intro in just a moment. It says load game. It auto saved. I didn't really do anything. So yeah, we'll leave it on. We'll leave it on the remix. Hex speed's already instant. Camera mostly didn't really play around with it too much. We'll leave battle animations for on for now. I have a feeling I'll disable this at some point. I'll just show them to show them off. And then we'll remove those. Um. Oh. Yeah, we'll talk about dashing in a moment. I'm not a fan of the dash. I'm hoping constant will fix some of my complaints. Like how there's an option to display the copyright page. Why? Why why is that a thing? 
Well, we're gonna leave it on English for now. And we'll we'll see how we feel about it. Uh, is there a way? Let's let's see if we can force the intro to play. Because right as I booted up, it did have it there. How bad could it be? It's so bad that if we pick Charlotte, I'm pretty sure Calvisham will boycott the stream. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> if chat picks Charlotte, apparently it is a very heinous experience. Quote many people that have played this game before. So I'm hoping it'll go back to the intro. I'm going to slightly adjust the screen. It looks a little oversized in the layout. Otherwise, we'll get ready to go. It, it will go back to the other intro, right? We saw that in the SNES. It should be of the fairies flying. We'll give it another minute or so. Actually, let me take this opportunity to adjust. Don't need to worry about that. I mean, it sounds like it's going to do it, but if not, I'll reset it. Very slightly shrink it. There we go. It's a little better. Apparently, it's not going to play the intro. Let me try rebooting one more time. Oh, no, there we go. This is very, very slow. So let's watch the intro and hopefully some people will trickle in. When the world was shrouded in darkness. I believe this is the opening text crawl, just with different graphics. The goddess of mana drew forth the sword of mana to smite the eight Benevidons, monsters of destruction. See, even now, I still can't say Benevidon. <laughs> Nothing changes, chat. She sealed the horrors inside the eight mana stones, bringing the realm back from the brink. Weak from rebuilding the world, the goddess changed into a tree and fell fast asleep for years. However, the forces of evil sought to free the Benevidons to gain control of the world. Chat, surely the, the, the Benevidons will not escape at any point, surely. They started a terrible war to further their plot and destabilize the kingdoms. Oh, yeah, the, uh, true. You know what? I'm curious how much they changed the plot, if any. Peace was at an end. I imagine it'll be like 90% the same, if I had to guess. Like, obviously the core story is there. I wonder if they touch up any of the dialogue. Mana itself began to disappear from the world, and the mana tree to wither. Pretty much. There we go. Oh, uh, there's, there's the things, uh, I mean, we played through the game before, so it's hard not to go into spoiler mode, but I guess, I guess for people just tuning in, I won't spoil what these are, I guess. The way I see it, it kind of doesn't matter. I won't specifically bring up spoilers unless I'm unless I'm comparing the plot. Chat can feel free to though. We we've technically beaten the game already, just a different version. Look, a shooting star! It is a shooting star. Trials of Mana. Well, Chris, I have great news for you. You might be the only one making decisions. <laughs> Feel the power over the stream. Trials oh. of Mana. And Parameter saves you right at the last moment. Welcome, Parameter. Quit the game, no. Let's go new game. Adjust the brightness, chat. 
Settings can be changed later from the options menu. We did see that. Uh, let's talk about my philosophy. I'm gonna leave it on normal difficulty. I'm gonna see how much combat I feel like doing. That's gonna be the best way of explaining it. We're not putting it on baby mode, but we'll see what happens. Okay. So already the way the characters are presented are very different compared to the other ones. So instead of having all six characters visible, we have kind of a profile. I could see it'll go Duran, Angela, Kevin, Charlotte, Hulk, and Reese. So we'll go through their descriptions one by one. Okay, so left control stick moves everything here. So let's go through the descriptions as chat decides my party. So keep in mind, the main character will determine the boss we fight at the end of the game. And characters that are immediately adjacent to each other, so Angela, Duran, Kevin, Charlotte, Hawkeye, Reese. So every two names is a related story. Anyway, let's talk, let's read about Durin. Durin is a young, proud warrior from Valsina, Kingdom of the Plains. Though he comes across as hot-headed and ready for a fight, the whole kingdom acknowledges his skill with the blade. Durin is nothing but love for his kingdom and respect for the Hero King, a good friend of his departed father, Loki, the Golden Knight. Weapons, swords. So, I didn't think they would let you weapon swap in this game. Seems about the same. Bio. High attack power, defense with shield, home Valsina. So you can see he's an A rank in stamina, B in strength, E in intellect, D in spirit, C in luck. So we know from before, strength is physical damage, stamina is HP, intellect is more like the wizard spells, so kind of like elemental damage, and spirit tends to be support techniques, healing, summons, and luck is presumably working in this game. <laughs> I hope, question mark, maybe? It didn't, it, didn't, it didn't really do anything in the other game. Yeah, so he's, he could be the dumb fighter archetype. He is not book smart. Now the opposite of him, kind of, minus the luck, is Angela. Who only has... I guess maybe A is the max rank, there's no S ranks. Let's read her description. Angela is the only daughter of the true queen of Altina. Snow cover kingdom and magicians. Because Angela's mother hardly spent any time with her as a child, the princess was prone to act out to get attention, wearing gaudy clothes and playing pranks on people in the castle. Despite this, her love for her mother runs deep. Angela never got the hang of... Scrolling text, please. He casting magic spells. A problem that plagues her to this day. Things you don't want to hear about your starter wizard. Yeah, her strength is E, her stamina is E, so she's doing nothing in uh, normal combat. Intellect and spirit is A, so it doesn't matter if she's a support role or damage dealer. She should be doing a lot of that, and otherwise average luck. Oh, sorry. Her weapon is wands. Bio is ranged magic and mass targeting spells. Home is Altina. Let's go to Kevin. Kevin is heir to the throne of Ferolia. His father is the king of the beastmen. But, oop. But his missing mother was a human woman. Kevin's father raised him to be a fighting machine, which affected his social skills. He's unused to conversing with humans, which can make him hard to understand at times. Ice around the young boy's heart only began to melt. I don't like the auto-scrolling. That's kind of annoying, not gonna lie. Uh, after making friends with Carl the Wolf Pup, where something totally terrible does not happen to it that we saw in the last time we played this game. But anyway, Weapon Fists, Bio, High Attack, and Nighttime Transformation. So, hint, he is a werewolf. End hint. Weapon Fists... <laughs> Ferolia was real subtle there, by the way. Bio, High Attack, and Nighttime Transformation Home, Ferolia. A rank in Strength, D in Stamina. So kind of a glass cannon, allegedly, which is kind of funny because I think he has above average HP. Um, terrible intellect, mediocre spirit, higher luck. Next we have Charlotte, which we've been warned if we select will make many people sad due to her incredibly annoying voice actress. Charlotte is the granddaughter of Wendell's Priest of Light. She looks much younger than she is thanks to the elven blood in her veins. Perhaps because of this, she's always been coddled by the people who raised her in the temple. Charlotte's bright and outgoing personality can be an asset, please don't reset while I'm reading, and a hindrance. Though curious, she's superstitious and a bit of a scaredy cat. So A rank in spirit, that's her forte. She's otherwise terrible at everything else. 
Only average at intelligence, average luck, bad strength, bad stamina. Weapon flails, bio healing and support magic user, home of Wendell. Next up we have Hawkeye. Hawkeye hails from the Desert Fortress of Navarro, home to the Guild of Noble Thieves. He's raised as an orphan ward of Flamecon, the leader. Together with Flamecon's own children, Eagle and Jessica. Hawkeye- okay, we also know something won't happen to uh, Eagle, wink. Uh, Hawkeye comes across as a laid-back and charming young man, making it hard to tell when he's being serious. Also technically Jessica. But at his core, Hawkeye is a fiercely loyal friend. Nothing gets past his own senses and quick wit. Excuse me? Weapon flails and she wields a flare or she just flails her arms. Kind of both. Uh, his weapon is daggers. He's a speedy fighter with luck for finding items. Home, Navarro. So his luck score is max. Everything else is just kind of average. I believe he can end up being kind of like a ninja character. We never got to see him in the original. So if you like ninja characters, perhaps pick this character. Up next we have Reese, the last of the six characters. Reese is the young princess of the mountainous kingdom of Laurent and captain of the renowned Amazon Guard. She is a will of iron and down-to-earth manner. Though, she might, though some might call her stubborn, Reese is always there to lend a hand to those who need it. She lost her mother as a child and since then she has helped or tried to help raise her little brother Elliot. Her topmost priorities are her father, brother, and kingdom. Weapon is spears, bio, range attacks, and support magic slash summons. Home is Loren. So, average in strength, stamina, spirit, high in luck, and bad in, in intellect. So she kind of got robbed in the stat department. <laughs> Can we all agree? Why does she not have a B? Why doesn't she have a B in spirit, Chan? I like how, like, her big thing is support magic, but she's, like, dead average. <laughs> like, if you look at it from a sap perspective, I I'm aware she'll end up with buffs or debuffs, depending on how we play her, but... Interesting choices. Well, Chan, I think we're gonna say goodbye to you two very briefly, uh, as we finalize our selection of characters, because we also have to choose the order of the characters. So keep in mind, for those that have not seen this before, the main character, as we mentioned earlier, determines the primary character you play as throughout your whole route. On top of that, uh, this will determine the order in which we receive the companions through the game. So your first companion will show up before second companion. So even that order slightly matters, as... Potentially weaker melee characters may or may not be a hindrance on early bosses. And then finally, uh, yeah, it'll influence a little bit of the cutscenes, depending on who we have as our companions. Now, I think there are some changes to the SNES where we get to see the character's full-blown backstory, which I think is different than the original, where we only got a very short summary. So we'll probably be playing through their extended backgrounds for the sake of the story. But anyway, we're going to say goodbye, YouTube, and when we come back, we're going to go ahead and have our party selected. So Chad has now decided we're going to start off with Kevin as our protagonist. Kevin, that's me. Kevin, that's me. We're going to go ahead and select Hawkeye. Your name's Hawkeye, renowned thief from Navarro. <laughs> Kevin, that's me. With This is a bad choice. Chad already in full regret mode, and we finally have Reese. to make your acquaintance so we have two characters that are related to each other and we are playing as Kevin so let's wish ourselves luck I haven't decided if we'll go light or dark on each of the characters so for context we have kind of like level up paths where we could be more support based or more debuff based generally speaking so I think Kevin for example can get healing Hawkeye, if we go ninja, I think has a lot of debuffs. It, uh, kind of things like silence, for example, which is sometimes useful. Um, and we have Reese, who could be a really good buffer or a really good debuffer. And stat downs, we apparently could not get from the night market. I'm not sure if that's different in this game or not. So, might want to play with debuffs, maybe? We'll see. Let's proceed with the party, though. Name's Hot Guy, I mean Hawkeye. Silver and gold mana statues interact with them to save. Supposedly, there's an extra special mana statue somewhere in the world. 
persecuted by humankind, beastmen were forced to live a life of seclusion in the dark woods of Duskmoon Forest. It did a little bit. Only one managed to stand up against the oppression. He became king. Under his rule, the beastmen banded together and created the kingdom of Ferolia. There, he and his kin waited for a chance to get revenge on the humans who drove them into hiding. <laughs> well, 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 isn't his furry majesty himself? How do you do this fine, fine night? Welcome, Gormand. <laughs> Finally, the time is upon us, sire. With the coming shift in the world's mana power, now is the perfect opportunity for what? For us all to get back at those nasty humans. <laughs> Do I know you? Oh, how silly of me. They call me Gormand, Death Devourer. Goals are the same, for I hate humankind as much as you do. May I offer you some unsolicited help? <laughs> Outsiders and help are unwelcome. Be gone. <laughs> no, 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 wait, wait, wait. I'll leave, but if you change your mind, my dark spell. Are always at your service. <laughs> Wait. I'll give you one chance. Oh, I shan't waste it. Now then, tell me what you would have me do, and consider it done. Your Majesty. <laughs> Kevin was the one and only son of Ferolia's king. The young boy's human mother had long since abandoned her half-blood child, leaving him to be raised in the forest by the Beastmen. Due to his Spartan upbringing, Kevin never connected with others. He was raised as his father's successor and trained to fight from infancy, leaving little time for friendships. One night, the young prince came across a slain mother wolf and her living pup, Carl. Finding a true friend in the affectionate wolf, the boy's frozen heart began to thaw. <laughs> hey, sleep good? Huh? Carl? That yip, Carl. Tiny, but still a wolf. Don't bark like a dog. Here, how? Like this. Huh. We're alike. You and me. A little wolf who acts like a dog. A beast man with human blood in my veins. And. Neither of us have a mom. Don't worry, Carl. I got you. And I'll protect you, since your mom can't now. What's wrong? Uh oh. No, 
Carl. Can't fight you. Won't fight you. There we go, little tumble rolls. like having uh, something similar to the charge up a secret of mana. I'll give him that. Oh, he's counting charge attack and just tap for different buttons. Fill your CS gauge, chat. Well, time to destroy Carl, I guess. chat wolfing out Carl's our best friend surely nothing terrible will happen to Carl fade to black <laughs> Ralph slurp that's how they translated that interesting no. How did this happen? <laughs> Unable to resist his beast man instincts, the boy transformed and attacked his only friend. It's not supposed to be funny, but that song made a grave by the flower patch they'd often visited. Racked with guilt. There he wept for his lost friend. Is the So sorry, Carl. Is the music they use when they go to sleep at the so end. Sorry. Carl's just resting, chat. <laughs> It'll be fine. He <laughs> forever asleep, something like that. Afterwards, Kevin didn't know how long he wandered the forest. Eventually, however, he made it back to the palace, but nothing was the same. Carl, couldn't protect my friend. I couldn't stop myself. Beast man blood awakened. But why did I transform? Why, why now? King might know something. Okay. So we have uh, problem number one, I'm gonna state. Why is MP on the left? That, that really bothers me. Can I really not put HP on the left? I, I don't... I don't think I've played any games where MP is basically above HP. He likes to take a lot of pauses when he talks, something like that. So we can see we have the side buttons. I don't know what this does, but these are presumably all of the finishers for the character. They do have the ring select, which seems fine. It also seems to pause time a little bit. Number two chat. Why is dash not on all the time, even though I put constant on? I'm going to show you the difference real quick. So, for those that haven't played this game before, take a guess what button makes you run. Well, you don't have to guess, because the game tells you if you walk around long enough. So, for some reason, it's left stick, which does not feel good. Just like to state. We got a couple wishes. So already we're doing better than other times that we played the game. You don't look so good, says random guy. Thank you. 
Long ago, beasts feared fire, but beastmen are different. We know how to handle fire. When everything humans do, just ask His Majesty the King. Oh. Oh, hello, camera. How did I do that? I, like, freaked the camera out briefly. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm really in love with the look of the game. It's like, it's okay. It's okay. I think I would prefer sprite work comparatively, so I think I'm gonna give it to the original for the sprite work. Our king isn't just strong, he's smart too. Let's have to lead Beastman down the right path, he says inevitably before they go down the wrong path. Lugar's meeting with the palace guards to plan the invasion. Curse it all, I wanted to go with them. So there are collectibles. So that's good. There's a reason to explore over here. Also, I'm noticing I can't land on this crate. If you're witnessing, I just kind of slide off. I can roll onto it, though. Curiosity. Maybe I just roll it. Oh. I don't think I'm supposed to be up here. The game really did not want me up here before. Interesting. I have a feeling this game probably lets you clip out of bounds. Whether we find it in our playthrough or not is another question. There's just something about the movement that feels like it's just weird enough something could happen. Yeah. Don't you want to help drive out the humans? Oh no, anti-human chat. Hear me out. My son says I'm going senile. But my eyes never failed me before. I swear there are fewer moons in the s fewer moons in the sky. Okay. Hello, random chest. So already this game is rewarding you for exploration comparatively. We would have gotten like literally nothing in the SNES version. Cat says meow. There you are. Wait, where's Carl? Beastman will finally be able to leave this gloomy forest. And join the rest of the world. My right, camera controls are how I want them. Don't make me break out the white cap. <laughs> yeah, maybe. We'll see. We will see if we saw something we weren't supposed to. All hail his majesty. Yada yada. Can't wait to invade the human world. Look how happy they are, chat. Oh. I found the plot and I found a save step game I, I know about saving, it's fun. Well, that's the same sound effect from back then. So we'll save over my other playthrough. You don't look so good. The mana doesn't discriminate, so try offering up a prayer to a stature. Statue, you feel all better. Yeah, yeah. So what's the What's up here that's different from down there? Okay. Aru goes the wolf bump. Bum, bum, bum. Majesty is out. He looked with that weird fellow that just showed up at the castle. Strange, huh? Hmm. There we go. Got some lore. Okay, I can shortcut downwards at least a little bit. Looks like there are air attacks, by the way. So if I have like a... Oops. So here you're in next in line for the throne. Look me up if you're ever in the market for someone special to share it with, okay? So it looks like if I do like two melee attacks, I get more horizontal distance followed by a tumble versus just a normal jump. I don't know how much they've added platforming in the game, if at all. Just an observation. Our heavy attack in the air makes us fall down instantly. Wahaha, <laughs> chat. Got you. By order of the king, the beastmen forces are hereby sent out to take over human settlements. Our first target is the holy city, Wendell. Yes, sir. Now's our chance to pay back the humans for what they've done. Once we take their precious holy city, we'll have already dealt a serious blow to those weaklings. They'll be shaking in their boots. Yeah! 
Hmm. One thing I'm kind of curious about is if they fix the magic system. So in the SNES version, debuffs were way, 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 way better than buffs. Because it's easier to get buffs from other sources in this game. So I think with that bias, I'll probably end up going maybe light on the character here. Because I believe that will open up healing for us. And maybe dark on the other two. And see how we feel about it. Plus, it's something to do a little differently. Arguably, I could make Reese Light oriented if I wanted to. Stranger came to offer aid to our king. Where'd he come from? Because I, I, debuffing an enemy is not going to be too different than strengthening up on an enemy either. So we'll see, I guess. Beastmen, sound off. What? Oh, the dialogue waits for me to advance here for some reason, sure. Two, three, four, five, a hundred. I was waiting for them to not, not count correctly as soon as they ran out of fingers. Nice. Anyway, let's talk to Ludgar. <laughs> Listen up, Kevin. We'll be taking Jad... Then it's straight to Wendell. You hear that, Princeling? <laughs> Your old man picked me to lead the Beastmen to victory. He trusts me with his invasion plan, not you. How does it feel to be a waste of space, huh? <laughs> Give me one moment, chat. Okay. Yeah, the only thing I'm kind of contemplating about Hawkeye is whether or not I want him to go light or dark oriented. I mean, it would be interesting to make him ninja, but I think Thief is also fine. Oh, sorry, we talked to him already. So presumably we just gotta go back the way we came. Okay, I can't just tumble off of the castle wall, as entertaining as that would be. Huh? Oh, I hear something through the wall. I know that voice. Hmm. Well done, Gormand. <laughs> it's an honor to fulfill the wishes of the king. Tell me, were you impressed by my dark magic then? <laughs> Corrupting the will of a tiny pup to attack my son is child's play. No matter. It induced Kevin's transformation as planned. With no more attachments to keep him from training, my son will become a weapon. I have no more need of you. Leave. Wait, what? Uh, uh, be reasonable, your majesty. Yeah, the hair does look very weird on them. There we go, chat. We're angry. <laughs> Egads. <clears throat> he gads. There you go. Yes. Use that hatred I see in your eye. Bend it to your will and let it fuel your beastman power. <laughs> Never lose it. Welcome, Kirk. Boy, know your place. Damn, we got the fatherly slap. <laughs> Why do we go flying like that? You called yourself Death Devourer, did you not? Oh, yes, indeed, Your Majesty. 
I leave my son to you. He slapped us so hard we went Looney Tunes. <laughs> Understood, sire. Yeah, maybe I'll go white to mix things up with Hawkeye. I'm not sure. I'm on the fence. I, I do think we should try debuff since we did buff Reese last time. I wish that I wish the emphasis was more on the strings here. I'm not a fan of this remake of this specific song. I wish it gave more focus on the strings over the other instruments, but that's fine. Well, anyway, uh, we left behind some items, but I don't know how much we actually actively need them, to be honest. Yeah, I'm going to be escaping from a lot of encounters. Don't mind me, just murdering. <clears throat> so, items are pretty easy to come across, it seems. And it's also fairly fast to escape, unlike the original. So, from this... Oh. I was looking at the map, but I can't actually go here. That's kind of annoying. Transformation is also faster than the, in the SNES version. We didn't really get to see that version, but it's fun. Hmm. So what do these do? Oh, they're healing and CS gauge restores. Okay, so it's already a lot more lenient than I would say the other game is. Let's read the sign. Early a Beast Kingdom head, no humans. So that's a good sign. Like, there's more reasons to explore. <laughs> don't mind me. I'm not going to fight basic enemies. I don't care about them. Well, I guess I could try combat a little more. So I did get injured because I went to combo, which is unfortunate. I think one thing that's a little awkward that I'm thinking of changing up. I... Don't know how I feel about square being the dodge button. That doesn't feel natural to me. If there wasn't a jump, I would have assumed X were like the bottom button on the controller would be dodge. So it's also kind of awkward to do combos because... I don't know. Well, we'll see how it goes. I'll try to make the adjustment. I agree with Kirk, because I, I want to Dynasty Warriors it, but I can't. Wait, 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 wait. I've come to you with an offer. Wouldn't you like to know how to bring your little Carl back to life? Huh? Shh, listen. Ferolian forces are on their way to Windle as we speak. You need to find the priest of light who lives there. Why? Because he knows how to bring back the dead. You lie! Oh, now does this look like the face of a liar? You cannot wait! Luca's guards have already left. If you dally, they may do away with the priest before you arrive. Where's Wendell? Where? <laughs> it's this way, your highness. I agree, Chad. He does look like the <laughs> as the face of a liar. Now, you must make for Mintus. It's just outside the Dusk Moon Forest. And from there, you can cross the sea to the city of Jad. Windle is quite close to that location. Hmm? So don't dawdle, or Ludger will have complete control of Windle before you even arrive. Understand? Try to stay out of his sight. Okay? 
In fact, I shouldn't be seen here with you either. I'll take my leave. Goodbye and good luck, young prince. What a trustworthy guy. I'm sure he has our best intentions at heart. Carl. Wait for me. Priest of Light and Wendell will tell me how to bring you back. Still my best friend. Carl. That coward is no father. He must be the reason. Mom left me behind. Is she... alive? I want... to see her. Kevin burned with hatred for his father and shame for the feral blood in his veins that made him deliver the final misguided blow to his only friend. As the Ferolian troops left the castle, the young prince was hot on their heels. He had to get to Wendell and ask the Priest of Light to bring Carl back to life. <laughs> Is he just swimming into the other side of the place? Uh oh, chat, we earned the credits. <laughs> Look at father posing in the forest as usual. Well, I'm curious because I think from the standpoint of the story, when we played through the other time, we ended up after the invasion. Okay, so maybe they do beat us to the other town. <clears throat> and I guess we got introduced to the Hawk troops, which we only briefly saw in the original game. Are we out swimming a ship? I would be shocked too. I'd also ask for a refund on that ship. Yeah, let, let's see if we could swap circle and square. That that might bother me the whole playthrough if I don't change it. I just naturally want to hit square to attack. No chance of this kid getting addled this way. That's also true. Aw, uh, so they are here already. Jed belongs to Ferolia. Don't resist, and we may spare you. Ferolian forces have taken the town and closed the docks. Now my ship's stuck in the harbor until who knows when. Stuck in the harbor. What's with these really awkward pauses? Can't let Beastman find me. Okay, question. Can I adjust the control at all? I can. See how we feel about this. But I have to go to Wendell for Carl. <laughs> oh, that feels so much better to me already. Okay, so let's take a look at our items. Item menu. Organize your ring menu from the item menu. Press up to bring up the ring menu while exploring or battling. Remember that on the field you can only use 12 different item commands. Oh, that's actually more than the original. I'm pretty sure the original only allowed seven or eight. It was n definitely not 12. So this is already a lot more forgiving than the SNES game. View the items you have on the left-hand side, set them to the ring menu, switch to the items, or remove them. So also I'm noticing looking at the stat line. So if chat remembers from the previous game, candies used to heal 100, chocolates healed 300. Now in this game, they heal 200 and 500 respectively. Couple Wishes revives all HP. One thing I'm kind of curious about is if it's also this way in the remake. Do Couple Wishes restore MP? 
Oh yeah, you love the clipping. So we got an item seed, which if we go to an inn, will give us a random item. But I don't have a reason to set it yet. We have gear and stats, which is already faster. And now it at least shows me that there's different kinds of abilities locked to class. So abilities weren't really a thing in the prior game. We could see a better breakdown of magic attack and magic defense. So I think the things here are a bit more... Oh, and there's a sword. Not that I think sorting is really needed in this game. There are other games where sorting makes sense. This game, we're not really sharing items between characters. That's not really needed. We have a move list. We can change our costume. I know when we upgrade our character, for example, uh, we used to change our outfit. Maybe we have the ability to go back to the other outfit. Training. Use the training points you attain after leveling up to learn moves and abilities increase your stats. Oh, by the way, game. Oh, chat. I'm pretty sure the game thinks I've leveled, <laughs> by the way. But we kind of skipped almost every fight, so that's fine. We're going to do more combat when we have AI to automatically kill stuff as I run, and that will be about it. Which is also kind of brings up a good point. Because of how easy it is to escape combat and then combat is ended, that also means it's a bit harder to run while getting XP compared to the SNES version. So for me, that's a very... Eh, uh, change? Kind of eh. Uh. Magic spells and attacks you learn will be automatically added to the move ring. Press down to bring up the menu. Using moves call MP. Increase your stats, increase base HP, MP, strength, stamina, intellect, spirit, or luck. Abilities will grant you special bonuses to help you on your adventure. Equip an ability to get bonus effects. Chain abilities. Abilities with the hand-holding icon next to them are chain abilities. When equipped, these abilities will affect other members in addition to the player menu. I can already see something called conflagration. Can I view what it does? Health damage increased by 50% when health drops below 30%. Oh, so he, he does straight up have Berserker stuff in this game. So again, these are things that potentially change how we play. I'm probably not going to level stamina. Effect length increased by 100% for status increase caused by move. Why would this matter? We don't have any buffs yet. Victory CS. Add 5% of CS gauge when enemy defeated. Increase total amount of CS gauge used by 10% when using class strike. That could be interesting. Luck, lucky break, 50% chance of not getting knocked down, 5% chance of canceling out damage from opponent. I don't think I really care about luck. Chad, I think we're gonna go brute strength, who cares? Dummy time. So kind of similar to the SNES version, we can select how they target. <sighs> Maybe I'll have them focus the same enemy if we ever switch out. Yeah, we'll leave it on, on the attack for now. We also have decisions on whether or not they use class strikes without falling below 50% of CS gauge. So we can tell them to not use class strike. Which might be more useful to me if I'm not doing a lot of combat. I could have them automatically heal, which is interesting. Use moves without MP below, falling below 75%. That's probably fine. So I like the updated AI menu there. We'll have to see how good the AI is when we get there. I'm not going to read all of these battle tips. Chan, I'm going to be real with you. I, I don't care. Other than we can... You can select recovery items when they partially recover or fully recover. Yeah. I don't think most of these are really that relevant. If you have high luck stat, you'll have an easier time with projectiles and traps. Yeah, I'm not sure if Dex is still needed for the other character or not, Hawkeye. I just don't know. Hopefully the game will explain when we get to that point what stats are needed. Also, we have like hilariously no money, so I probably need to go get money from somewhere. Because I'm pretty sure we have to sleep the night or spend the night in order to advance the plot. Alright, so we just said we're on a secret mission as opposed to getting destroyed by them instantly. I guess it's tip punching does damage, something like that. Welcome, Dango. Huh? Why wasn't it not picking that? 
Why didn't that pick that up when I pressed the buttons? Did swapping that swap what button is pick up or something? Oh, it's just being weird with me. It apparently destroy some objects. It's like minimal water effects. We don't really have money, so most of this doesn't really matter. So let's uh, proceed with the plot, I guess. Where we're gonna be told that you should escape at night. <laughs> oh, there's Hawkeye. This town is caught up in a war it never wanted. It's the same story everywhere you go in the world these days. <sighs> like my homeland. What on earth is going on? So instead of them being kind of background characters, we seem to get little cutscenes. Beastmen are too frightening to fight. It's better to hide. I think Reese will be up here. Yes. Which is convenient. Pardon me. My younger brother is missing, and I must find him as soon as possible. Have you perchance seen a little lost boy around here? So this is where they are in the original game, so it looks like that's the same. It's just kind of funny chat chose this party combo specifically. I see. Thank you anyway. So we can't really interact with anything up here. It's like, uh... I don't know how I feel about the aesthetics of the place. They're like, okay. I'm not sure if they're as detailed as the sprite version offhand. Beastmen of Ferolia look like humans during the day, but at night, they transform into animals. Don't leave the house after dark. You hear? If you're trying to leave the city, night is actually best. Once the beastmen transform, they lose their better judgment. The whole lot of them tend to get together and brawl amongst themselves until dawn. It's easier to sneak out of the city then. Good luck. Thanks, helpful barkeep. Wait for night. Sleep at the inn until then. Just wish our guards weren't the ones causing trouble. Well, Chad, hopefully I have enough money to progress the plot. <laughs> Keep in mind, I, I, liter I literally only got like 12 cash. <laughs> Who's there? Okay, so I can't interact with Ludgar directly. Or Ludgar, excuse me. They go. Was that Kevin? Nah, must be seeing things. Look at that hair chat. I I don't get why his like the bottom of his bicep going into like the joint. <laughs> Close one. It's got spiky hair. It's very weird. It's very weird, chat. And there's stuff over there, but I don't really see the point in going to it right now. We'll talk to the kids briefly, saying they're not scared. We'll talk to you again. Rolling forces have taken the town and closed the docks. I'm a ship stuck in the harbor until who knows when. Or excuse me, it's stuck in the harbor. <laughs> As he said earlier, the voice acting. Oh, random chest. Sure, I'll get more healing for later. It's probably useful to have. Yeah, let's plant an item seed. Magic pots. Find a seed, try planting in the inn's magic pot located near the front desk. Grow items and equipment for the various types of seeds. The pot will level up the more seeds you plant. Okay, so that's a new thing that wasn't in the original. The higher your magic pot level is, the better chance of getting good items than the item seeds. Enemies will drop seeds more often, too. Okay. Vitality elixir. Oh, that level's crazy slow. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to worry about that. Max HP increases by five. Huh. That's new to this game. I mean, is there a reason for me to not just use it on this character immediately? I don't think there is, and... I mean, I could save it for one of our other characters, but given we'll probably get more. 
Hold RB and press X, Y, A, B to shortcut in. Oh, you could shortcut items. Okay, that's good. It told me that, actually. I'm assuming it's permanent. So if I go back here... I could do, like, weak healing... Strong healing revive? That also mean Oh, that also means that, uh... Buffing is gonna be way easier. I mean, the uh, that's how the other guy sounded. So that means, Chad, I can have my strength up as a different button and keep all my healing here. Unfortunately, because I don't think we have a primary healer, we don't have the ability to AoE heal unless we get... I think the item is called Poto Oil. So, we'll see. It might be better to leave the revive off of here and just manually go into the menu for that. We'll see. It's kind of like PSO. We got to manage our buttons. Oh, we woke up Angela. Damn, we just got wrecked. You can't get anything past me. Hmm. <sighs> <laughs> what a weak slap and only sent us flying a little. Yeah, she's gotta learn from father. <laughs> Anyway, let's sleep to progress the plot. I don't really like the remade innkeeper. Alright, so no voice actor for him for some reason. Looking for a place to rest? No charge. Can't do business with the beastman in town anyway. Oh, that's right. Sleeping is free. <laughs> game over. <laughs> that, that would be amazing. Can you imagine we just cut it, splice in the game over right there? Show our HP drop to zero. Well, time to escape. So sadly, we won't be getting new party members for quite a while. Where did they go in this town? Who knows? I don't see them anywhere. Just seeing if there's any items here before we continue. Oh, <laughs> I, I, apparently I wasn't allowed to stand on that roof. I kind of slipped through. Just gonna get a couple items here and there. It doesn't seem like picking up the money is worth it for the most part, but the treasure chests are mostly fine. So what's our reward for finding this? Even more than the other one. Oh, I like that little jump over here. Oh, it ate my jump. I guess if I'm falling, I can't jump. Is that how that works? Okay, so if I'm falling, I can't press the jump button, which kind of sucks. Not gonna lie. Phenomenal fist chat. So we get bonus XP for defeating quickly and without taking damage. That's kind of neat. I like that mechanic to make XP leveling a little less boring. A free revive is actually pretty good for us. I don't think I really care about the enemies here, though, for the most part. Are you just always going to be gold or are you going to be something useful? Oh, mid-air enemies. So it has like a very basic combo system at the moment. So it was an item seed. Yeah, yeah, we know about training points. Uh, I'm just gonna do this immediately because this is just bonus strength. 
So it said we had to equip abilities, right? Do we do it in here? No. Oh, that's for chain abilities. Gotcha. Okay, so only chain abilities we equip here. I see the chain in the corner now. Okay. But for the other ability, I just have it, right? I'm assuming I just do. So I'm not sure if we can reallocate points in the future, but for now, this is fun. So we need a little money because we have to use the in again as a reminder. The game is trying to teach us about aerials. So it looks like you could pretty much flawless victory everything if you want to. Combat seems pretty quickly. Medicinal herbs should cure poison. I'm not sure if there's other hidden things I should be looking for because I haven't, as I said before, played the game before. So hopefully I'm not missing anything by going this way, for example. If so, it probably makes many people sad. So we could go to the lake town, but there's literally no point to doing so. I believe we have to view one cutscene before we do that. I don't like that jump and pick up are on the same button. Is there a way to change that? Because whenever I don't hit it, it takes like forever. Question. I want it to be oh it can only be a or b why 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 can't it be x hello what what no that doesn't no that doesn't solve my problem why did you limit my controls here trials of mana please well so much for fixing that problem take the candy This will say question mark, right? If we go to talk to it. Yeah. And interact with this young. See, so yeah, there's kind of like mini healing throughout. I think that's fine from like a balanced perspective. I don't think this chest was here in the original either. So there's definitely more items in general between this random shinies and actual chests. It feels a little better. So far, we haven't seen any treasure chests drop yet. I'm assuming they're still in this game, question mark. No one believes me, but I saw it. A strange light was floating over the lake. Maybe it'll appear tonight, too. Oof. I'm feeling kind of bad, chat. I feel like I could kind of out voice act these people. I feel kind of bad for them. Curiosity. Can I get to somewhere I'm not supposed to? I just want to rub against the wall for a little bit, yeah. Oh, what was that? Did I get a tip for something? What, what, what was it trying to tell me? Was it, was it, please don't break me and go out of bounds? Like, why did I get a tip thing just then, midair? That was weird. So it looks like I can evade the enemy by kind of sliding along the barrier of the fight itself. Just somewhat interesting. Well, on the plus side, chat, I'm picking up a lot of healing for our first boss, because we'll probably need it. I think we used like 8 or 9 healing in the original. I 
feel bad for the enemy. I don't think it can really have any counterplay to this. Yeah. I mean, I'll pick up the random shinies in case they're item seeds, mostly. I don't really care about the money. Oh, that's annoying that I picked up a fight there. You can already see our damage is much better than the other characters when we played in the SNES. The fact we're doing 50 total damage in two swings should give me an idea of why I felt sad when we played on the SNES earlier. It just does hilariously more damage than everything. The remake does not really dissuade me from that opinion. Magic ropes so we can escape combat quickly. Let's see what happens if we go over here first. Wait, this is the town? Where was the star trying to take me if not at Astoria? Uh, okay. Oh, it wants me to go to Cascade Cavern first. Really? Do I have to find out that I can't advance to then go sleep in this town? Because, like, semi-spoilers, we have to go back here and sleep to advance the plot. I, I guess we have to go the way that I can't do anything at. We don't have a certain character with us yet. Ooh, the camera zoomed out. So I guess there's dynamic camera angles in this game? Interesting choice, I guess. There we go. There's an invisible force blocking the way. What is this? Better find another way in. <laughs> Chad, I'm just like, I'm really curious. Because the fact that Kevin goes up when he attacks, I'm really curious if they left a hole somewhere for us to jump out of bounds. It would be really funny. So if we could have somehow gotten, like, to the side of this, I could probably skip this cutscene. Let me mess with this for a couple minutes. Ooh, that, that sucks me into the cutscene from far away. So it seems like the right side is more lenient, so if I were somehow able to do, like, this... ...and, like, somehow regain another jump or something in midair... ...which, by the way, the tumble looks very weird in the air... ...then I could have maybe done something interesting there. Yeah, so it looks like I can't jump over the cutscene trigger. Oh, right, that's fine. We don't have to break everything on the first try. <laughs> Testing one more thing before we go further. I don't I don't feel a way I could force my way through that wall. Let's continue. <laughs> I feel like I do that more than the combat in the game, and that's fair. I can't resist the chat, it's too good. anyway, we might as well explore the town before X happens. So we might as well see what the place is like. I don't think I'll bother with any equipment upgrades. You used to be able to go through the Cascade Cavern to the east to get to the other side of the lake. Unfortunately, windows closed it off to keep their city safe. Was there a point? I don't think there was a point to this shed before in the original. There was like literally nothing in here. But this time there's a medicinal herb. So I guess small improvements. It felt like there was going to be like an NPC in there the first time we played. So we are getting a very large amount of healing without me spending any money, which is good. Because I'd prefer not to. I don't remember what was in here. But it's our it's our money now though. Why is Ponta acting up? She's usually so calm. Can I not talk to the dog? Grr, says the dog. We oui, says the child. I guess I should very vaguely visit the shop. 
of where's the browse. So there's a limited stock of items. Interesting. I don't know if I really like that. <laughs> Come again. <laughs> yeah, some of the dialogue leaves a little much to be desired. Oh. This is how we handle transitions, I guess. That was awkward. I think the SNES did it better. That was really awkward. I'm not gonna lie, chat. That was not good. So in the SNES one, you had dynamic lighting as you went throughout the place. So it gradually transitioned from day to night. It didn't just like make everything go dark briefly. I don't mind it popping up in the middle to say like a new day has begun or whatever. I'm okay with that. But like to make everything go to black like that, that was weird. Yes, I'll be ripe soon. What you think? <laughs> well, I think your goods are mine. You're traveling through, right? There's not much around here, but you're welcome regardless. Did you hear? Chat's been taken over by Beastmen. Are we next? And we're like, no, wink. Curses, I managed to get away from Chat, but now I'm stuck here because of the barrier. Now I'll never get home to Wendell. Take down the barrier. Hey, buddy, if you figure it out, let me know. I'm gonna spend the night here, I guess. Finding a way home is a problem for future me. Stay, over, stay the night here, too. Maybe the ma barrier will magically disappear overnight. You'll never know. So the game now gives you, like, because that was the thing. We talked to the guy that was out there before in the SNES version. And we just had to know to sleep at the end. The game kind of forces you to talk to people that tell you to sleep at the end. Yeah, like this guy was here. And like you could have gone to the inn there. So I'm presuming I had to talk to that guy to advance the plot. Game, please. So can't enter this building, but we can enter this one. I do like the design of this town a little more than the other one we were in. Yeah, we know about healing. I really don't like that jump is talk. Can we... Hold on. It, it's just like when you miss it, it just takes like forever to talk to them again, which is why I don't like that setup. Did it actually confirm or did it... Yeah, see, now it's behaving itself. Like, you see how far away I talked to them before? So I don't mind... Uh, it's not ideal. Circle to talk is not my favorite, but I really just can't go a million miles in the air every time I'm too far away from an item. It seems to at least prioritize picking up the item and talking over the roll. So that's definitely a weird choice on their part to leave it like that. Of Four attack power. <laughs> Come again. Nah. I don't think I care. Normally I'm all for upgrading our weapon, but I think this time I don't care. <laughs> I think we'll be fine. It this character's damage is out of control. Oh, so the item seeds are across all towns. Oh, that makes it a bit more fair. I thought it was per town. Just for chat clarity. That's why I was complaining about the level up. But if this is throughout the whole game, this is fine. Gotta get our gotcha item seed RNG stuff. So I got MP restores. I don't know what Curious Cookie is. Honey Elixir is the best healing item in the game. XP increases by 10%. Okay. Magic rope, we go back to the beginning of the dungeon. MP restored by 50 this early in the game is kind of kind of wasted because we only have 8 MP or, or less on most characters by this point. Maybe there'll be 12 with the other characters. We're already at 9 candies without even trying. 
So that's good. Welcome. Let's rest until evening. So let's progress the plot here. So there we go. I guess in a way it makes it that I don't have to grind because there's a lot of collectibles as we go. So that's nice. So I could choose to explore and skip combat or do combat, get items. Huh? Uh, what the? A light? Uh, a light chat. Huh. Oops. Why isn't I playing tricks on me? You saw that light too, didn't you? Well, I'll what? be. What? Flying light. What was it? Never seen anything like that. It's an evil omen. Storing legends say a phantasmal light will bring the destruction of the town. We're doomed. Light. And Tasma Light will bring the destruction of the town. Flying light. Is he gonna repeat the dialogue every time I talk to somebody? Flying light. Flying light. Flying light. Flying light. Flying light, chat. I just wanted you to know. It might have been a flying light. Anything like that. Where did it go? I should follow. <laughs> that seems like a choice. Why did they have the dialogue reset like that? <laughs> It was weird, chat. Just wanted to showcase that. That was an odd choice. Flying light, though. Uh, I'll climb up on the building. <sighs> Unless I just, like, slide off due to physics. Oh, you can't jump on the house? Why? Is there a reason you won't let me jump on this house? It's kind of awkward, because look at the invisible box. Like, I can't go further forward than this. If you're wondering why I fell off before, it's not... It's like, you could get fairly close here, but then it's like... You get denied by other things. Hmm. Okay, so I can get up here. Blue Dawn is confused. Chat loving the blue Donna bot. So it's interesting I, I could build up multiple class strikes early, which I think is a good change to the combat. So I'll, I'll make a positive note there. I like that I'm faster than the thing that's supposed to be guiding me because I already know where to go gonna go there. Unless I have to wait for it to go by me. So it's somewhat easy to take damage in this game unless we do a lot of hit and run. Just fine. Just gotta make note of that for later. Uh, you alive? Saw the light. I see. Oh, I have no other option. So I suppose you'll do. Hold on. W what? Oh, never mind. I'll tell you later. Please. I need you to take me to the Priest of Light and Wendell. 
I can't fly any further on my own. Fine by me. Going to Windle too. But Cascade Cavern. Can't get through right now. I can get us through the barrier. But we need to hurry. Something has happened to the Sanctuary of Mana. The Sanctuary of Mana? Wait. Ah! What happened? Was it... Astoria? Gotta go back. Oh, we need to get going. Let me rest inside you for a bit. You won't see me, but don't worry, I'm still here. Oh, oh, wait, wait, what? Don't delay, we must see to Astoria. Ah, she's in my head? Ah. Hurry! Ah. On it! You take Fairy with you. We're like Fairy forces our way into our party. Just is in our brain now, so, chat. Why are you heading to Wendell? Priest of Light can save Carl. Bring him back. Oh, I see you haven't had an easy time yourself. Oh, oh, oh. oh see, we did. We traded blows there. We're not quite able to one shot. Close. I guess maybe if I had gotten the other upgrade at the shop, I would have one shot there. Unfortunate. Is there a point to training? By the way. I guess it's another... Another point in strength for now. This seemed to immediately impact our stats. I don't really want to fight aerial battles if I can avoid it. No thanks, right, Chan? <gasps> Although now I gotta train myself to hit the right button to save. Fine. We'll 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 work our way through the controls gradually. Ideally, as I said before, I would have had Square do it. Oh, it didn't one shot again. Even though they're level one. The other ones were level three. I guess Mushroom has enough HP that it doesn't matter. Oh well. Well, chat, I hope you didn't have any attachment to the village we were just at. What happened? Where are the humans? This looks like the work of Beastmen. Cowards! There is no time to waste. We have to get to the Priest of Light as soon as possible. Oh, Wendell is in danger. <gasps> I'm assuming no items changed in the town. <gasps> oh, actually, there's a chest over there. I don't know if that was there before, to be honest. If I just missed it. But it's ours now, and it's a revive item. That I feel like I would have seen before, so maybe it did change slightly. So I, I think it's kind of neat you can walk in the water over here. It makes it a bit more dynamic. So yeah, I guess if you revisit, there's extra items you could get. Goodbye, smoky remains. Oh, 100 money? That's actually huge. So as I said before, I feel like I'm being rewarded even though it's just kind of a trickle feed. Like some of those could be item seeds and they can help us in the future. Like getting candies and chocolates this early in the game is worth it. Maybe later on I'll explore like a little less if the rewards don't scale up. Like if I'm at the end of the game and only getting like 60 lucre, that's not going to be good enough for me, for example. Right now I think this is fun. Yes, otherwise there's literally no reason to revisit here at all, because there's nothing you could do in the original. So 
majority, I think I have surplus candy. So if the AI ends up using a lot of items, that's fine. Uh, so I'm going in with uh, a ton of healing. And given that they heal 200, 300, or the fact that candy heals double the amount automatically makes candy way better than before. Because it's already pretty cheap. Like for 100, I could get five candies. And you see they drop literally all the time. So it's like... Oh, speaking of characters to use items on. Hello there. On your way to Wendell? Sorry to ruin your plans, but that cavern is blocked. Oh, actually... What's this about a fairy letting us through? Whoa! Are you serious? Of all the people. Huh. I guess this explains the light earlier. You can call me Hawkeye. I have some business in Wendell, if you must know. And experience the previous journey of your new companion Hawkeye play through the past. And let's save during a flashback. Any items attained during the flashback will be lost. Oh, that's kind of disappointing you don't at least keep the items. I mean, we'll play it for the sake of playing it. That's a bit disappointing. But at least you have the option of skipping it if you want a more natural experience. So like if you played the game before, you don't want to have to go through everybody's intro again. But I figured this is at least new content. Might as well try it. Where there is light, there must also be dark. So the thieves of Navarro lived in the shadows of the world. Going in. Get ready. Steal the treasure chat. So despite having a dagger, he actually seems to have a decent AoE in front of him. I got an idea. So sadly, we don't keep any items, so that makes it less rewarding. It went back to old SNES standards. It's my money. <laughs> my. So definitely a weird choice from them. It would have been nice to just add their items to ours. Were they worried we'd somehow overflow items? Like taking candy from a baby. Ah, a thief! No, not my money! <sighs> You had to make this complicated. Now that I have your undivided attention, let me give you some advice. You've made a killing swindling the people living hand to mouth in this town. Now's your chance to put yourself in their shoes. Maybe you'll think twice about your dirty business practices now that you're the one who's lost all his money, huh? You should thank me, really. That's rich coming from a common thief. How dare you? Touche. But something tells me you'll get over it. Farewell. Try breaking a sweat with an honest day's work for a change. There's Neko. Or Neko equivalent. Cat merchant friend.
Now listen, sometimes you're just tired. You're like, you know what? Just let him steal it. It's fine. Also, are Neko's feet really tiny or does he have like peg legs? What's going on with that design? I'm gonna look at that later. Nevarlin thieves were known to sweep through towns, stealing ill-gotten goods from the undeserving rich. While their leader, Flamecon, held down the remote desert fortress in the sand dunes. Turn from the raid, sir. Well done. Oh, you haven't heard. Lord Fla Forgive me. King Flamecon has disbanded the Thieves' Guild and declared Navarre an independent nation under his rule. He's gonna say, camera, she's up there. We're wasting away in this forsaken desert. Mana power is shifting. Threatening our place in the world, our people's resources, like the waters of the oasis, are drying up. We'll lay siege to the kingdom of Laurent in the north and create the Navarro Nation. Now, His Majesty has a meeting to attend, so you just sit tight. Her voice is about what I thought it would be. I love how evil the flame con look, though. <laughs> Nango says I made my choice. Something like that. Oh, Hawkeye. When did you get back? I is something wrong? What is flame con thinking? He's never been ashamed of our thievery before. How can we give up our entire livelihood, our creed? And for what? <sighs> what is going on? And there's something strange about that, Isabella. I know she saved the Lord's life when he was stranded in the desert, but making her second in command? What's her angle? I'm sure my father has the people's interests at heart, Hawkeye. <laughs> That's a good if one, Jessica. We all depend on go dry. We can't live here forever. So. <sighs> but a king? Flamecon hates monarchies. So now we're going to bleed the citizens of our new nation dry to fill the king's pockets just like our enemies do? How will we be any different from them? Stop insulting my father. Oh, what? Did you want to play the part of the pretty little princess, Jessica? Stop! Damn, there's so much slapping in this game. <laughs> Is that how we all bond? <laughs> We're just like, who got who got slapped the hardest in their intro? So far, Kevin's winning. I never knew you were such a meanie. What is he, like 10? Who says that? So saying the wells are drying up due to potentially a power shift in mana. I don't think I like the redesign of the fortress so far. It's very flat. Weird choices. His Majesty's in a tactical meeting with the Lady Isabella. They're discussing plans for Loren and his chambers. Yeah, remember this chat? We had to... Oh, come on. Why is there an invisible wall here? Game, please. <laughs> I should be able to make that jump, I'm just saying. What? What's the point of this area if I can't jump down? Oh, I can only jump down at that one... Okay. Okay. Okay, game. Okay. Okay, I can't do that, but I can walk here. Okay. Let me roll my eyes. Let me pick up an item that doesn't do anything, presumably. What was in here, for curiosity? Chocolate that I don't keep. King Flamecom hasn't been himself lately. Guess he's worried about forming a nation. What well, makes sense now? 
Yeah, with the mini map, it's a lot easier to see where the rooms go. That was kind of a problem with the original fortress. There were literally just doors and doors and doors and doors and doors, and a lot of them didn't really lead anywhere. Door is shut, can't go there. Uh, oh, you want me to go in here? I just want to look at the foot. I can't get a good angle, though. It looked like he had little peg legs. Oh, there we go. That's not a bad angle. Why are, why are his feet so small? That really bothers me. <laughs> Unless it's like clipping through the ground and they don't mean to. If he jumps up, I want to see. Did... I think his feet are actually clipping into the ground. I think they actually did not model him correctly. That I was like, something about his foot did not look right to me, Chad. It looks like he does have like a front to his foot. It's just underground unless he hops. So oops on that one. Oh no, oh no, I'm not meant for fighting. Where's make my whiskers stand on end? Brother, what do we do meow? I think it's an obligation that if there's an animal character, they will throw in the animal sound puns. So yeah, I, I'm pretty sure his feet were clipping in there, and that bothered me because I caught it in the cutscene. Arbitrarily. Uh, let's go upstairs. Talk to you. Did you save something mean to Jessica? You better not have. So sadly, there's not really a point to exploring in the back, in the flashback. So we're going to wait for the inevitable bad thing to happen. We can also get a text summary of it if we don't want to play through it. Oh, we got to talk to Eagle. There we go. Oh, but that was just the way I came. What? What? Why weren't you over there then? Hawkeye, there's something bothering me by now i'm sure you've heard about the invasion of laron have you noticed anything strange about my father lately that's exactly what i thought we two have grown up together here in the fortress so i knew you must have noticed it as well i knew it he hasn't truly been himself since he went missing in the dunes last month Fortunately, that newcomer Isabella found him before he... But I swear, nothing has been the same since. If my hunch is correct, Isabella may be at the root of the problem. But no more. I will expose her for the evildoer she is. I'm sure that'll go well, right, Chad? I see good things in store for Eagle's future. Don't rush on ahead. Something's got me on edge. I better go after him. Well, since we can't gather items, I might as well just proceed with the blow. Shh. Stay vigilant. Huh? We'll surround them. I'll go to the other side. Do pass on my message. Hold, fiend! Ah, oh, there we go. Who have you now? Whom have you snuck into the fortress? And what have you done to my father? We'll continue when pests are taken care of. I leave them to you. You children will find out there are things better left unseen in the world. But no matter. I will have you forget my little secret. Just like Flamecon. Flamecon is quite a name, though. Stop manipulating my father! I'll throw you out of this fortress myself! 
<laughs> what an innocent babe. I guess when I was joking about the and then the Fire Nation attacked, it was more accurate than I realized in the last playthrough. What's wrong? You have to run, Hawkeye. Must eliminate. Must be destroyed. No, this isn't you, Eagle. Fight it. Oh, oh dear. He can't hear you now. What will you do? Attack your friend or perish on his blade. See what you did there, Dango. Is he part of the Ligma Kingdom? We have to go through the battle tutorial too. Eagle, stop this! I don't want to fight you. Damn, I'm just bodying him. I feel kind of bad for him. Oh, he was already dead. The game just didn't register it. Got it. Stay with me. Uh, Hawkeye, you... You did... The right thing. Still alive, I see. Oh, allow me to fix that. Child. Someone, come quick. The man's a murderer. What's the problem? No, not Eagle. How could you? Don't move. There we go, chat. The most good. Murder is no laughing matter. Your execution date is being decided. I suggest you reflect on your crimes while you wait. The most convincing setup, as I was going to say. <laughs> oh, best be quiet, dear. If you tell anyone. Your friend Jessica's life is forfeit. What have you done to her? Oh, I just gave her a cursed little present, if you will. If you step out of line, you may not like the consequences. <laughs> Let me out! Someone there? Anyone? Jessica. My brother. Equal. He. They're saying you did it. But that can't be. No one was closer to my brother than you. You couldn't have. So tell me, who killed my brother? I... Talk, and, and her life, life is forfeit. forfeit. Please, tell me, who was it? <laughs> Hawkeye! Why won't you say anything? No! And Eagle? 
Jessica. I believe Mew. I know Mew are framed. Come on. We need to get away from here as soon as possible. Uh, uh, quick, through this hole. Hello, Niccolo. Isabella will pay, but I can't stick around Navarro any longer. Damn, he was really busy to make that full tunnel. What the heck was that? Also, his feet clip back into the floor again. Poor cat. This cursed purr, as and Mew mentioned, I think it's the legendary choker at death. If the stories are true, once Mew put it on, Mew can never take it off. And if Isabella dies, Jessica will die with her. But the Purrist of Light in Holy City Wendell might have some leads. Mew should leave Navarro and find the Purrist. <laughs> I'll take care of things here. But Okay. I trust you, Niccolo. Take care of Jessica while I'm gone. Hey, you take care of me yourself. Don't worry, I'll look after Jessica. Hmm. Alright, no additional dialogue there. So I guess we'll try leaving. Stop him! Guard's doing a terrible job at quote unquote stop him. Oh, what the? Get out of here, right, Chad? Interesting, I can jump up and avoid some damage. I can actually use that to my advantage to escape most encounters. And dodging, dodging seems to also mostly keep it up in the air. So now we have a more consistent way of escaping encounters. So we learned something. Eagle, don't, don't worry. I swear on my life that I won't let anything happen to Jessica. I have to leave now, but I will be back to avenge your death. Dearest friend, and I will save your sister. Jessica, you have to stay safe until I return. Please be safe. Hawkeye, pained by the loss of his dear friend, set off for Wendell to find a way to lift Jessica's curse. Hawkeye finished recounting the harrowing story of how they came to be on this journey. I'm not a big believer in chance. There's a reason we've crossed paths. I'll come with you to Wendell. Okay. So... Curiosity be that something. Okay, so he joined at a higher level than us, which is funny. Let's see what his bonuses are. Attack increased by 5% when at 80% or above. So he and Hawkeye kind of... Or uh, Hawkeye. Uh, Kevin and Hawkeye seem to have opposite things. So he wants to be high health. Kevin wants to be low health. Harder for enemies to target. Eh. 30% chance of poisoning when using power attack. Interesting. 
Hmm. See, this is where I'm just not sure where to go yet with his points. If we're going more ninja, I probably want in. But if I'm looking to have status ailments. I don't think I care about stamina at all. Do I need luck for anything is the other thing I'm thinking about. I think for now, let's put two points in strength and I'll hold on to the rest for now. Because he's going to be doing a decent amount of meleeing, I would think. And five extra damage a swing is kind of huge. I just don't know if we'll need luck more or what his other stats are. So we're at a little bit of a disadvantage having not played him before. I keep thinking the dialogue's gonna auto advance, then I realize it doesn't. <laughs> I gotta get used to that. It's not quite like East where you can tell it to automatically do it. Okay, so let's proceed forward. So one thing I also wanted to point out between this playthrough and the previous playthrough. So because we had Charlotte as a companion, that delayed our acquisition of a second oh, companion. Yourself? Yes? That is hard. Being a thief isn't exactly the safest profession in the world. I'm handy in a fight. Yes, we will work well together. Been on my own a long time. It's good to have a... a companion. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad. Power! Run! Good care of that. Oh, XP slowing down quite a bit. I think that's at 400 or something to level. That's kind of crazy. So because we chose somebody other than Charlotte, we also get assistance in the early part. Also, the amount of money we're getting improved drastically. We went from getting twos and fours to almost 30. So already the, the reward system feels a lot better for generally taking some time with the game. Uh, so if we go this way, for example, is there a chest? Just a medicinal herb. So generally speaking, we want to try to do boss battles while it's nighttime. But we don't have a lot of control over the day-night cycle yet. Time to work together, everyone! Stronger. Learning, getting stronger, chat. Time to work together, everyone. Oh, it's hoping I can interrupt him. Oh well, I tried. Learning, getting stronger. More item seats for later. Before we go the way we are supposed to go, let's just see what's up here if we were to explore. What kind of rewards do we expect? Dream read might be what I'm looking for. There's something that changes the day-night cycle, which is kind of important for this character. Oh, oops. I did not mean to hold the charge button there. So critical hits do exist in this game. Another revive item. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good for a boss. <laughs> right, John? I think I'm up to five revive items now, or four from one. I might as well see what this is. Oh no, we still gotta witness her cutscene. <laughs> Oof. Oh, we chat. Oh, I thought it was a Prana, but you saved me. <laughs> I'm Charlotte. I'm a famous beauty from Wendell. 
dangerous here. Go home. Okay? <laughs> oh no, says Dango. I grew up with no parents, but there was one priest in Wendo that was always nice to me. Heath was kind and helpful. He took care of me. My grandpa asked Heath to go to Astoria to look into something for the temple. But I got a really, really bad feeling about it. I didn't want anything to happen to Heath. So I followed him in secret and didn't tell Grandpa when I left the temple that night. By a horrible twist of fate, a creepy looking man took Heath away right when I finally found him again. <laughs> <laughs> and then I couldn't even get back to Wendell because of the barrier until you opened the path through the cavern for me. <laughs> I got a little lost on the way and fell down. <laughs> if you had been there it would have been good night charlotte that was close uh, fine you can come with on my way to wendell to see the priest anyway oh you want to see grandpa why didn't you say so you didn't know it, but you helped your chances. Slap indeed. Actually, the granddaughter of the priest of white. But you know, Wendell isn't far from here. You might need my help getting there, but I don't need your help getting home. Take care that you don't get lost. Bye bye. Yeah, that was kind of tame. I'm not gonna lie. Can she make it to Wendell alone? I I feel like pe I feel like people that complain about that have not heard Kamawana. Yeah, I was like, listen, you go listen to Kamawana in English. Holy, I I was like actively like fighting the urge to skip cutscene every time she talked. Yeah, Kamoana from Viseria. Oh my gosh. She was like way more crybaby and whiny. It was horrible. Oh. It's not going to let me skip the encounter. So yeah, that, that one's very tame. I feel like people are not used to bad voice acting. I don't even think she did like terrible in the delivery. She sounded like who she was going for. Get the chest here. Yeah, the the crybaby raspy from Kamawana, like that actually made me uncomfortable listening to it. She's like, I'm scared. Wait, like, oh, it's like, oh, just, just like physically pained listening to that. That oh, that was whatever, honestly. See, I, I feel like that was overhyped to me. I felt that like, that was fine. I, I could actually play a whole game of Charlotte. I don't think that would bother me. So if we wanted to just play as the characters we didn't play as, we could do uh, Durin, Char Charlotte, and Angela, or whatever the team wants. Oh, there's the, the bouncy spring thing. I'm curious what that does in this game. Do we get to see the world map briefly? Oh, it just launches me to get a treasure chest now. Oh, does the use button do that automatically? Oh, I thought I was jumping by accident because I was getting confused between the interactions. But I can jump on it manually as well. Uh, 
So they got rid of the being able to see where you are in the world, which is a little sad. But they made it go to treasure, so that's fine. Oh, this day-night cycle is so awkward. Oh, I don't like that at all. SNES did it better, hands down. That pause as it reloads everything. Disappointed. All characters should be voiced by Sea Mama, exactly. just want damage up. So now that we skipped an upgrade, is there a better upgrade here, or is it the same garbage item? I would say I'm... I might as well get this. Looks useful. Okay, so it's already way easier to get rid of items. So we'll, we'll give them that. They fixed the menu. Selling between characters was horrible in the original. I don't care about armor. We don't seem to be taking enough damage. Unless I'm playing like literally hard mode, I don't think I need armor. We'll just pick it up as we go. Like maybe later in the game when we get to like the halfway point, I'll bother to get something. Cobra bracelet? What's that? The other ones I think are consumables that allow us to uh, essentially use spells, but I don't think that last one was a consumable. So Cerberus Paul is fire damage, so I probably want to have that on for later. Was the other one a piece of equipment? Cancels out poisons attacks. Oh, okay. So that's actually really good that I didn't bother shopping because I got it from an item seed. That's kind of neat, I guess. So already this is a vast improvement over the SNES items. Where I actually got a defense upgrade. So we could get our guaranteed weapons then from the shop. And we'll pick up accessories from those other things. So there we go, chat. The first time I felt rewarded in all of Trials so far. Other than Cups of Wishes, of course. Those are always worth it. We'll save on the item seeds. I'm not going to go back for just one. They're definitely meant to be just kind of bulk consumed. Hmm. But there would be an item over here, but I don't see any. Oh well. Not a big deal if I can't find it. We seem to have gotten so many items anyway. It's pretty generous. Speaking of generous, I like that we've acquired like several thousand worth of items without me ever going to the item store, by the way. Like if I did this in the other game, I would have literally no cash. I'd be in the negatives by quite a bit. Um, I guess I'll do the plot first. I'll look around later. Go to the Priest of Wendell. Accept the goddess of manners blessings. Priest! Carl! Bring Carl back! Friend! He's my only friend! Carl! The wolf pup! What is your name, son? I see. Hmm. Listen well, Kevin. The gift of life comes with the inevitability of death. Nothing can replace a life lost, nor bring back a soul who is no longer with us. That is why the gift is so precious. But death is simply how new life begins. Though Carl cannot return to his previous life, his soul will live on in your heart. Do you understand? <laughs> but... Carl... He's... 
keep the memory of him alive in your heart, young one. And someday, Carl may be reborn into your life again. Do not give up hope. No! This... This is the king's fault. Won't forgive him for what he did to Carl. Your Eminence, what do you know about the Choker of Death? How can I stop the curse? I need to save Jessica. Choker of Death? But that's a forbidden and ancient magic. How did this come to be? Here's the story. Uh-oh, fade to black. Paramita just heard Kamawana. Yeah, yeah, that's bad. <laughs> Ooh, some of her scenes. Certain that Isabella is not what she seems. Hawkeye, my apologies. But I do not know how to lift a curse so ancient and evil. Only the goddess of mana can do that. Only the mana goddess? That can't be. What am I supposed to do now? Wait! I have something to say. Your Eminence, please listen. I have come from the Sanctuary of Mana to tell you that the Mana Tree is withering. Mana power grows weaker by the day. Withering? But without the Mana Tree, the seals on the Mana Stones will break. The Benevidons will be released into the world. Benev... Bloven... Bl what? Poor Kevin. You're acting like this doesn't affect you. You've been chosen by fairy. This means that you alone can retrieve the Sword of Mana from the Sanctuary. What? Fairy? What's he talking about? I'm sorry. With the mana in the world so depleted, a fairy can't leave the Sanctuary for long without a host. If I hadn't found you, I wouldn't have made it. Hey, but fairy's better now, yeah? We made it to Wendell. You do not need me anymore, so go to the old man instead. Would that I were able to bear your burdens. However, once a fairy finds a host, they are bound to them for their whole life. Only death can part them. Huh? Don't need a mana sword. I need revenge on the one who hurt Carl. Can't get distracted. Kevin, I'm sure you already know you don't have the strength to defeat the King of Ferolia. Not with your power right now. But with the sword of mana, you would. What? Stronger than the king? Really? But what is the Sword of Mana? The Sword of Mana is the embodiment of the ancient power of mana, guiding force of spirits. It is an alternate form of the golden wand used to create the world itself. The one who holds the mana sword gains awesome power. The sword lies in the roots of the mana tree, waiting. Before the mana tree withers completely, you must reclaim the sword and awaken the goddess of mana once more. She alone can bring peace to the realm and grant your wish. I get that sword. I can defeat the king? Done! Where is the... Uh, um, sanctuary of mana? so sorry but with mana so depleted i don't have enough power to open the portal to the sanctuary not by myself 
Throughout the world are eight points of mana energy, mana stones, sealing away the fearsome Benevidons. If you activate the mana stones, the portal connecting our world to the sanctuary of mana should appear. Through that portal is the sanctuary. However, you should know that the energy inside the eight mana stones was sealed on purpose as the mana goddess began her slumber. What do I do? In ages past, there once was an ancient spell used to control the energy from the mana stones and bend it to the user's will. However, countries refused to allow each other any control of the spell and use of the mana stones. The war that followed caused unspeakable damage. It was nearly as destructive as the sealed Benevidons. The survivors cursed the magic to avoid future tragedy and forbade anyone from using it. Now the life of any person who uses the spell will be forfeit. There is no longer anyone alive who knows how to work this cursed spell. No hope? There may be one way. If we borrow the powers of the elemental spirits that reside near the mana stones instead, I can combine their powers with what remains of mine to open the portal for everyone. Splendid! This is a relief. If you wish to find a mana stone, I've heard many say that the light stone is in Cascade Cavern, guarded by the elemental Lumina. It is the cavern you pass through in order to reach here. Take Fairy. With what remains of her power, she can help you find Lumina in the cavern. See if you may borrow his light powers. Fairy, answer me this. If I go with you, I can save Jessica? Of course. The goddess of mana should be able to undo any magical curse. Once she reawakens, she can definitely help. All right, then I'm in. Let's see this through. Priest of Light's Faith has granted you a new ability. Oh, we have story based unlocks now. Learn chain ability, HP boost. Okay, I mean, I might as well just put it on. I don't have another chain ability. Chain abilities can be used by all party members. Learn more by allocating training points. And many people on your journey may learn chain abilities from kind of expected acquaintances. Okay, so that's an improvement over the other system. Oh, so when it says I learn a chain ability, only one character can get it. Interesting. So it's not that it's... It's not that I equip this and it shares it to other party members. It's anybody can equip it, but only one person gets it. Okay. That's not necessarily bad. So I'm assuming, you know, we rank up, we get another two, and then maybe there's another rank up after that that unlocks more. Which I'm okay with. Yeah, yeah, take fairy, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we'll very briefly explore just to give chat an idea of what's here. I don't think I'll do a lot of full exploration. I'll, you know, I'll take make a small detour in a dungeon maybe if it doesn't seem like a big waste of time. Uh, but I'm not necessarily gonna full explore every building. And unless it establishes weapons or armor can be dropped, then it has my attention. But right now, if it's just like a couple wishes or whatever, I don't think I super care. Yeah, let's try leaving out this way. What happens if I do this? Oh, there's just a chest here. What do you have to say about this? Isn't the view beautiful? 
Well, I sure wish I could clip off and jump off the building. I would say right now, Chan, I would have been so happy if you could have just jumped off this building. There are a lot of invisible walls, and I feel like some of them make sense, and, you know, I'm not going to complain about those. But, like, come on, I should have been able to jump off that building. Or, like, when we're having weird things where I can't jump off the stairs, or I can only jump off where the stairs are, for example. That feels a bit weird. Yeah, like here, I can't jump off the stairs. Like, why? That's just weird to me, Chad. Can I jump off of this? I can jump off of this one, though. So that felt a little better. I'm gonna feel, like, more open with the movement. Do you know what I mean? You know, if it's on my way, I'll pick it up kind of deals, but that's about it. Is there anybody to talk to over here? I mean, I can see the green dots. Fine weather. I will say the dialogue is not very inspiring, but I think that was mostly the same in the SNES. I don't, I don't think that's a new problem necessarily. Dog barks at us. Bork, bork, chat. Needs more insta death stairs? That's true. I need to die <laughs> arbitrarily rolling down staircases and houses. God, why is she here? Can I? Please? I heard what you were talking to Grandpa about. You are no simple adventurer. Since you have a quest of your own, I have a favor to ask. I gotta find Heath, and I need your help. No. Too little for a long journey. We will look for Heath for you. Don't worry. Go back to your grandpa. Widow, huh? Why do people always assume I'm a baby? I'm 15 years old. Got it? 15. Huh? But I'm 15? No way. Does not matter. You can't come. Now go home. Priest was worried about you. Just worried about Heath. Please. I really can't come with you. Oh, fine. You are so stubborn. And mean. You, you, you meanie. So... I mean, like, her dialogue doesn't seem that different from the SNES. Like, she did have the weird baby talk stuff. So, I think it's more people have a problem with the dialogue than necessarily the delivery. You can blame the writing on that one. Anyway, deeper into the caves we go. I noticed when we put on the class skill, maybe it, it's true. People will assume she's a baby based off how she talks. Yeah, it's not even like the way she's acting necessarily. She's not like Hokuai Desu or something weird. If I don't go by the bats, are there any items I didn't get? I could heal myself if I want to. Might as well as. It seems to scale based off our total HP, so that's good. Try and catch me. 
Gotta get this nuisance out of the way before we can go. Poor game. It's trying its best to try to fight. Is that the hole? Fairy said we have to get there. But how do we do that? Oh, right. I forgot you can't fly. I think I can use the residual mana power in the waterfall to get you over there. Hmm. Let's give it a try. That is very bright. We did it! Oh, it's a teleport in this game? Interesting. I don't think it was a teleport in the other game. I thought it was like a bridge of light. And we ran across. Whatever. There's so many candies, chat. Okay, so some enemies have armor, so I need to charge up my attack to break it. I guess that mixes it up a little bit. To bring Carl back. It seems like I can mostly ignore fights. It's just kind of annoying that if I have to go back and forth like that, I gotta re-engage almost instantly. It's my only gripe so far. Combat is okay. Oh. Oh, Poison Lats outside of combat now? Hmm, that's actually pretty annoying. That means that status ailments are much more annoying in this game than the other one. I mean, I might as well just get this because... If I happen to get low on health, I will do more damage. So I have a reason to play risk reward with this character. Or if the AI controls him, for example, then it's fine. HP boost might be more useful for Hawkeye if he needs to maintain a certain percentage of health that's not 100%. I have immunity to poison due to what I'm wearing, but I should probably give it over to our ally. Otherwise, they're going to lose all their HP. Although at the same time, out of the way we can go. I just choose not to engage. No time. So as I said before, we're getting like a pretty good mix of items as we proceed. So for the most part, I really don't need to fight anything. I just managed to make my level match up to the AI partner because I think that just kind of makes sense. So this is the boss, right? Oh, you look so goofy in 3D. Why do you look so goofy in 3D? Uh, monster? Witch? No, this isn't the elemental we're looking for. It's a giant monster. So why do I feel mana power coming off of it? Why would a monster give off mana power? Ugh, fight the monster first. Worry later. So already I have complete dominance over the enemy. So I can hit him straight on if I want to, because it probably does more damage. But I also could just choose not to take any damage here. Be 
Oh, bosses have a stun gauge? Okay, chat, can we all agree? This game is 10,000% easier than the SNES version. Holy. Chat, I didn't try at all. That was easy. <laughs> Look how under level that was. That was leveled again. Yeah, chat, by the way, I beat the boss without taking damage. What is that? That's so sad. I feel bad for the game. A pleasure. And thanks for releasing me from the belly of that full metal meanie, am I right? <laughs> <sighs> Who knows what would have happened if you hadn't come? <sighs> Fairy filled me in on your plight while you were fighting. Telepathy's great, huh? Just like Fairy, we elementals need mana to live. I'll help however I can to make sure we save the mana of the world. Lumina. Where is the Lightstone? It's straight up from here, deep within the old ruins. But you can't exactly get there from here. Oh, no, 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 no. It's safe, though. For now, at least. It's so unstable. It seems like the Benevodon could be unsealed at any minute. We gotta get the rest of the elementals on board and open the portal to the sanctuary. In powers from Light Elements and Lumina. Huh? <laughs> that got the victory music when I did it. <laughs> Here. Oops. Wait. Maybe a shortcut. Uh, let's read what this has to say. Light Elemental Magic. Now that you've accessed Luminous Powers, you can use Light Elemental Magic by putting training points for its abilities. Here are examples of Light Magic, Holy Saber, Healing Light, Holy Bolt. Okay, I'm the guess that's fair. So how does that work? It said I could invest training points. Uh, I'm assuming I just don't have the ability to learn it, and that's why I don't see it. I might as well increase strength just to get sturdy. I'm not sure how easy these are to reset, but I might as well do this. Oh, and it lets you automatically equip as well. Interesting. I mean, it's just free damage at this point. I don't have a reason to not take it. Hmm. Alright, okay, well. I'm assuming because I don't have Angela or Charlotte, I can't learn magic. And Holy Saber, I'm assuming we can't get until we get a class upgrade anyway, because that's how the original worked. Oh yeah, there were pots here I could have broken, maybe, for CS. So, if I realize the boss had a stun gauge, I'll, I'll double check later after we're done with the stream session. I didn't see one building, but I also wasn't looking at him very carefully. So I'm not going to say it's impossible for that to have happened. Because normally there's like a, another bar around the health bar kind of thing. Okay. The, uh, I mean, if the if the rest of the game is going to be the CD, I don't think I have anything at all to worry about. It's almost like when the game gives me counterplay against the bosses, the game is not hard. Because that was the big problem in the SNES version. There's just nothing you could do about walls of unblockables. What? What do you think you're doing? Thanks. 
Thanks for taking down the cavern barrier. Saved us some trouble. <laughs> now, nothing's stopping us from invading Wendell. This is a present to show our appreciation. No! <laughs> Let's get going. We're just getting slapped everywhere, chat. Yeah, I feel like the Lumina voice, I don't know if it was a bad voice actor. I don't think it fit the character. It was very different. We got slapped so hard we saw the tree of mana, chat. <laughs> Start rolling the credits, it's over. Oh, we're getting the, oh, I thought the fairy flashback was a bit later. Oh well. Well, I guess. Ooh, okay, that voice. Hero must be found to take the sword of mana and awaken our goddess. It's very high pitched. Then let us ask the priest of light for guidance. We must not delay any longer. Let's go. Cannot continue. What do you mean? We're so close. Oh, we can do this. Uh, I can't make it to the other realm with my powers. I leave the rest of it to you. Please, hurry. Oh, we cannot continue either. Please go on without us. <laughs> Are you telling me in Hawkeye's plotline he got jailed twice? <laughs> Hawkeye's life sucks, chat. Welcome, Chris Agrim. Welcome, Raiders. Wait, where? Ah! Ah! Let me out! We got slapped so hard we got jailed. Were you captured as well? Who? Tell me, where is this? My name is Reese. I am from the kingdom of Laurent. After journeying to Windle, I was ambushed by beastmen in Cascade Cavern, and ended up here, in jail. But fear not. I believe I can get us out. Please, give me a moment to free us. Quit your yakking. Keep quiet. Pardon me. But it sounds as if someone is digging over here, behind this wall. Is it an escapee? What? Yes, the wall in the very back. My apologies. Please do not make a fuss. Here, I have opened it. Are you unharmed? Oh, good. That is fortunate. But we must hurry to the docks and leave this town. Come. The beastmen forces should be distracted attacking Windel. We can board the next ship before it sets sail. The townsfolk were talking about it earlier. We must hurry. Oh, my. 
Perhaps you should offer a prayer to the mana statue and heal before reinforcements come. <laughs> Wait a minute, this is a jail cell, exactly. I, you know, I like how the combat music is kicking in. I just want to talk for a moment. <laughs> I love how, like... What, what was her voice? I know, the sudden background music. I, I like from her standpoint, did they tell her to talk like Starfire from Teen Titans? Why did she talk like that? I don't understand what the voice direction was. Like, when she was first delivering the lines, I was even second guessing myself if it was Starfire from Teen Titans. Where she's like, and I have pauses, and I talk like I don't know what it is, and I'm like, what is she doing? Yeah, that's what it was reminding you of? Yeah, I- that's a weird voice direction to go for. She's not an alien from another planet. Don't know why that was necessary. Versus you got me. So I see the chest in here, I can't get it though. Yeah, Kevin has some really awkward lines. I think they're trying to symbolize him struggling with speech, but it just comes off as more, like, awkward voice delivery than, like, actually what they're intending. Yeah, it's confusing. Like, Starfire is not bad, but it's like... And then, like, and then after that little cutscene went back, she went to talking at a different, like... What is the word? Cadence? Like, her, the, the, the speed at which she was speaking and the way she said the words, the cadence was different, and it was very weird to me. I don't know what they were going for. Oh, each character has their own... I wasn't even paying attention before. So each character has their own CS gauge. Interesting. Speaking of which, what do you unlock, by the way? Now that you're level 6 or whatever. Increase attack fire for 10 seconds when receiving damage. Uh... Chance of criticals. Okay, that could be interesting. Fortitude. Increases attack by 15% when affected by a status effect. Hmm. Interesting. I think we need to give her spirit or in at some point. I could just preemptively put points in spirit. It's not like a really great ability, but I'll, I'll just put it there for now. Hold on to the rest of her points. I'll take point and leave the rear to you. <gasps> Retreat. Some device is keeping it shut. Oh, that's rude. It's the only reason I went over here. Take down the enemy. <laughs> no time. <Stay> true. <laughs> Chat like me just avoiding combat constantly. I don't want to do anything there. There's the shiny in the corner. Can I get the shiny without combat? Well, apparently not. True power, chat. Took some damage, but whatever. Hawkeye leveled, nice. The reason it doesn't matter, the healing was right here. Assuming that was... Oh, there's even MP recovery jars in this game. Interesting. I don't know how I avoided the combat there. I'm gonna be real with you. How did I dodge that combat? Watch out for the enemy. Time for retreat. So there's nothing else to do here. So at least we learned something new. MP recovery is there. Um, Why can't I go out this way? Was there something in the throne room I had to deal with? Okay, so there, there was something to interact with back here. 
you know, I was thinking, you know, like, where, where else would the switch be other than, like, somewhere near the throne or something more awkward to get to? Don't mind me, chat. Just spamming heavy attacks. So we seem to be doing an insane amount of damage. I think chat can agree. Are these actually ever going to be equipment? Oh, 500 money is actually really good. I'm glad we went over here. I felt rewarded for taking a detour. I felt rewarded. 500's a lot. That's literally like three pieces of equipment. But There's... There's still something keeping it shut? What? Was that... Uh... Are you tell? Okay, so that, w that didn't also unlock the way out. Hmm. Well, this is unfortunate, chat. We have like a straightforward escape. Just bonk them real quick. One down, chat. So this will level us. So where was another switch? I didn't see one. Um, I'm just making sure, like, I didn't see anything over here. Question mark? I'm just looking for an interact icon. I didn't see anything over here. I guess in theory there could be something near the fireplace. So our damage is so high right now, I'm two-shotting. This character is busted, chat. <laughs> I think we can all agree. This is why I was banned from this character before. Oh, I didn't see that there. That's awkward. That's fine. At least we found our way out eventually. There we go. Can we avoid combat here? I'm just curious. Also, our companions are almost dead. I'm at full health. Maybe maybe I should do the thing where if I'm at full health, I do more damage. <laughs> do I need to switch who the Berserker is? I thought it would be me face tanking everything. But uh, that doesn't seem to be the case. Let's remove Sturdy from you if I can. I mean, I'm not even getting injured. Oh, that's not a shareable skill. Never mind, I can't do that. Fair. Well, they're not going to benefit from that for very long. Anyway, let's not bother with these encounters. They seem too easy. I mean, I guess I could pick up more items, but I'm assuming they're bad. Actually, I medicinal mean, herb was okay. Since we're here, I might as well as, you know, during this dramatic music, just casually walk over to the inn. Intense plant growing action. I guess we'll skate via boat. Get a bar, quick. We're setting sail. All aboard. Wasted too much time. We have to get to Maya and find the rest of the elementals. Hmm? <laughs> what is that? Fairy. She's from the Sanctuary of Mana. She'll help open the portal, but we have to find the elementals that live near the Mana Stones. I see. You must be the one His Eminence the Priest of Light mentioned. I visited his temple shortly after you. 
He told me about travelers looking for the Sword of Mana. <laughs> Small world, huh? So, what's your story, stranger? Well, you see... Uh-oh, we're getting our story now. I mean... It is a shame about the flashback chapter. That just feels like a bad game choice. So definitely if we play it again in the future, I mean, if we want to do multiple runs of the game, I will not do this. But I think from the standpoint of just seeing what the intro is like, I'll still do these if we happen to do another playthrough. But yeah, the fact that you don't carry over items, I think is a poor choice. Welcome, Calvisham. I will say the Charlotte, the Charlotte hate was overhyped, Calvisham. It was okay. Princess of Larat, the Kingdom of Wind, was performing her duties as captain of the Amazon Guard. I will take care of it. Observe. Captain Reese, please be careful. Oh yeah, that's right. She fights the harpy, like even in her own story. To upset the peace of Laurent. I mean, she's got more range to her. I just don't think it's needed at all in this game. So she feels kind of weak comparatively. The monster population has increased. And... I can feel it. The haunting cries of the wind. mountainous kingdom of Lorat. Atop the crags and treacherous terrain sat the formidable, impenetrable Citadel Lorat. Thanks to its elite guard of Amazonian fighters, enemy forces had never managed to breach the Citadel defenses. Until... <laughs> yeah, right? The sounds are like a little off. Now then. It is time for my brother's training. Where has Elliot run off to? Why is she posing like that? Yeah, listen to the haunting cries of the wind followed by like peaceful music. I'll talk to a couple people. Never let your guard down, chat. You never know what will happen. The monsters are quite troublesome as of late. All right, so they're saying going to Alma. So there's more guidance as to where to go, thanks to the minimap, I guess. Father, have you seen Elliot? <laughs> Interesting question for a blind man, but I sense his location. Give me a moment. His name was Joster. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot that. Hmm. He is not far. I assume he is still on the ground. I am certain you will find him if you search. That boy, where could he be? He knows what time it is. Well, we know his room should be to the right somewhere. But I'm curious where the game is making me go to look for him. Like, why are we going to this person? Oh, oh, now we got to talk to Alma. I was going to say, Alma's to the right. I don't know where it's making me go here. Like, listen, I, I know we haven't played, like, very recently, but I'm like, I know we have to go this way. Whatever. What was in the chest here, for future reference? Not that we keep the item. Revive item? That's fair, I guess. Alma, have you seen my brother recently? Oh, how strange. I would have assumed that the young prince would be together with you, your highness. He hardly ever seems to leave your side, after all. 
Prince Elliot never knew his dearly departed mother before she passed. But you have done an admirable job filling her shoes, Your Highness. The Princess of Laurent had but one brother, Elliot. Their mother passed away just as the prince was born. She did not live to see her son. The young Reese would never forget the moment her mother slipped away, just as her dear little brother was brought into the world. Her dear little brother with all that hair and the outfit. <laughs> Laurent mourned the queen's passing, but Reese only found peace alone on their sacred mountaintop. There she cried until the tears wouldn't come. Always a kind-hearted child, Reese swore to show her brother as much love and affection as she could to make up for the loss of their mother. She took on the responsibility of raising him as best as she could. Mother. Elliot! Where are you? Hey, young <laughs> prince! Prince of the Citadel, right? <laughs> Wanna see something interesting, little boy? Ta -da! I just happen to be a wandering magician performing in these mountains. I'm here to show you some tricks, young prince. Look! Feast your eyes on my multiplying trick! Ta-da! Ooh, wow! I have many more tricks up my sleeve! You know the passage under the citadel? I can show you more tricks if you take me there! Come on! Let's go, little prince! Awkward cut in the music. So I'm assuming I just go straight to the other location. Man, her weapon strikes feel pretty slow. Love you could cancel the jump at any time with that. Candies would have been nice. So I think he's in the bottom right, if I remember correctly, from playing a long time ago. I'm kind of curious if I can skip BSing and talking to all these people and just go straight there. So there's basically a staircase downwards that we could go to. I know these items don't matter, I'm just curious. Eh. A couple wishes was a much better find for sure. I wish we kept that item seed, that would have been good actually. How do I get there is the question. Or are you not going to allow me to go over here? Alright, you're not going to allow me to go over here. I think there's one other way. So, where was it the left side? I have to basically go around on the outside is what I'm saying. So I have to like go down a bit more and either this leads to the dead end or it leads to the staircase down to where I'm looking to go. Oh, that Elliot. He knows it's time to train. Would he really have gone under the si the down? <laughs> See, that time it just paused the voice acting, which is funny. So the game is not letting us explore fully, which is a bit of a shame. It's it's no flashing light, chat. Are you now going to allow me to go to the place I tried going to? Let's find out. Huh? 
Oh, that's annoying. So I did go the right way, but the game won't let me progress, even though we know to go here. Hmm. I don't know if I like that change between the SNES and other than that. I did not have to talk to those people in the SNES. We just could just go here. So I was right. Game is just mean. Unfortunate. Rush, young prince. First things first. <clears throat> I'm Bill. And I am called Ben. Aww. I thought you said you multiplied yourself. Show me something good. Never fear, never fear. We have a big surprise in store for you. Come on, kid. I mean, your highness. Huh? I bet a smart boy like you knows what's in this room. <laughs> of course I know. This is the room where we control the winds that protect Laurent. But we need this royal key to operate it. You know what? I have an idea. How about you turn off the wind with that key, huh? If you do, we can bring your mother back to you with our super secret magic trick. Don't you want to see her? If the wind wasn't so strong, she could come down from the heavens and see you. There you so go. How about you turn it off? For sake. My mother? I can see my mother? Uh, but my sister Reese said I could never turn off the wind. Oh, you poor child. Your sister is lying to you. She knows that our magic can bring your mother back. But she's trying to keep her all to herself. It's so unfair, don't you think? What? No! Hurry! Your sister might come and stop you at any moment! Elliot! Where are you? See? Here she comes now. If you don't stop the wind, you may never get another chance to see your mother. <sighs> but... Come on, kid. Ugh, just do it already. you scoundrels step away from my brother <laughs> Reese! <laughs> we did it without the wind this citadel isn't so tough our navarlin forces are already prepared to invade they're probably storming the castle as we speak <laughs> <laughs> The thieves of Navarro will take Citadel Laurent and make it the seat of our new nation. Think of it! We'll be stealing a castle. It'll be our last big raid, but what a way to go! <laughs> You're nothing but filthy spies! <sighs> you don't have time to fight us, Princess. How is your blind leader supposed to defend himself without his trusty captain of the guard? Hmm? No, Elliot, we have to get to father. Yeah, this just seems like. Uh, also, this is really unintentionally funny. Later, I I love from the standpoint that <laughs> one of the most one of the most important things in the kingdom is well, not well, kept by the well. king. Look at that. Your sister left you here to save her own skin. She doesn't care about you at all. Now, come with us. No! 
No, she wouldn't. Reese! Shut up. <laughs> I mean, she didn't call the meanies. I mean, it, it was pretty weak. <laughs> I love how she just didn't notice he was there. That's such a dumb plot point. I ran up like five flights of stairs and didn't hear anybody else. Guess I shouldn't go back and help brother. So this is her fault, actually. The, her, her playthrough, it's her fault we have to fight a boss. That's some silent fire, chat. Hold on. Uh, Captain. Sleep spores. Uh, uh, the spores spread throughout the citadel once the wind stopped. Go. Save the king. Let's avoid that combat because we don't need it. Nice. Dodge the other encounter. Optimal chat. Father. <laughs> Is that you, Reese? Father, can't you see it's me? Oh wait. <laughs> Father, I feel like that's what she said given given what she interacted with him earlier. Forgive me, Reese. The wind told me this day was approaching. Are you sure it was? I was unable to stop it. The shift in manner has dulled my senses. It, it, should it be common sense that told you not to do that? Now Elliot is gone. I let them get away. It is your fault, Reese, that he got kidnapped. It was so easily preventable. I see that Elliot is no longer in the Citadel. The enemy has him. <laughs> Please, Reese. You, you must get him back. Father! Father! No! Boy, that's awkward putting the uh, <laughs> the thief from Navarro here. At least we get to see the flip side of what was going on there. Burn! Burn to the grotto! Oh, they only call her commandant there. Most of the enemy forces. I'll return to Navarro to report our success to Flamecon. Everyone, fall back for now. The wind. And now the wind returns. Elliot, what do I do? Where should I go? My father has always said that the priest of light in Windle has answers for those in need he will surely know what my next move should be yep i was gonna say yeah i was gonna say she's having a lot of fun sadly we won't be seeing a lot of her since we didn't pick a uh, hawkeye or her story Go see the SNES route if you want to see more of that, I suppose. Mother, I leave father and our fallen countrymen to your care. Elliot is my responsibility. I 
think her hair was meant my mother's ribbon with pride may it protect me on my journey was meant to whip more dramatically except it seems kind of stiff in the remake which is a bit awkward it doesn't really like flow in the wind it just kind of globs to the right <laughs> Oh well. Oh, we'll be going back here soon enough. Delorand fell to the agents of Navarro. The princess found herself without a home, a father, and her only brother missing. She set out to find him. All right, now it should fast forward back to the present. Reese finished recounting the harrowing story of how they came to be on this journey. Please, allow me to accompany you, fairy. My kingdom is important, but we cannot allow the tree of mana to wither and die. It would be catastrophic. Thank you, Reese. I know that the goddess of mana will grant you the power to save your kingdom. Thank you. Okay, so I don't think we could just go straight to the cannon guy, so I'm just gonna talk to them first. Looking for Mana Stones, I reckon His Majesty the Hero King of Valsina knows a thing or two. And the only way to get to Valsina is via cannon, as we'll find out later. Or whatever. Oh, we're allowed to go straight to the cannon guy afterwards. That's not too bad then. I'm Bon Voyage's sister, Von Sior. My brother says he's an alchemist, but he's just a regular inventor. He's never meddled with me Metals, after all. Oh, he looks goofy. Yes, yes, hello. I am Von Voyage, and you are? Oh, never mind. It hardly matters. You simply must see my invention. Wait for me in the backyard. Okay, well, I'm gonna go to the backyard. Also, what happened to the minimap? from Maya, and that's the bridge. It's down a treacherous golden road, and it's full of monsters. <laughs> Hardly an effective or safe travel route. However... Behold! With my new deluxe super cannon, you can reach it in one blast! It's the latest model, and I'm almost done! So, what do you think? Well, we haven't been told it's missing a part yet, but I know we need to go get it eventually. Maybe we just have to come back in here? Oh no, we just have to have that conversation and then leave. That's a bit more awkward than the SNES version. Not sure why they did it like that. I'll very briefly check the shops. Well, lots of wares to browse. I don't think I care about Reese's damage. Her, her, her attacks are so slow. I, I don't think it matters. Uh, I'll very briefly look to see if there's anything of interest. Oh, I can't, I can't jump on those. Why? Right, chat. Why? What's the point of that? I mean, the fairy walnut is good. 
Oh, she's just in town? Huh. Okay, I mean, it's interesting the party members are just there. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm a big fan of the Cannon Guy remake either. He's always been kind of like a goofy jester, don't get me wrong. We'll talk to Hawkeye. He'll always tell me I'm quite the charmer. Leave the information gathering to me. We all escaped Jack, but I heard rumors before we left that the Priest of Light risked his life to put a barrier around Wendell to repel the Beastman. It made his eminence fall so dangerously ill, he collapsed. They say a young priest named Heath is the only one in Wendell who can cure the deadly sickness. But no one knows where he is. This could be bad. Dun, dun, dun. Well, anyway, we'll go here and then immediately get cut off, so it is what it is. I guess I should see what the other CS attacks are. I should probably tell our allies to use them in boss battles. It, it didn't really seem necessary in normal mode, though. Uh, the Golden Road filled with bees I don't feel like fighting. Got it. Those are the Chobo Hoods, I think they're called. I wasn't sure what animal they were specifically supposed to be. Like if they were more like squirrel people or something. So it kind of had like pointy ears too, so I was kind of going back and forth. Hey, you haven't seen a weird cactus thing around here, have you? But looking all over for it. Oh, are they introducing little cactus? So to give context for people that don't know what is about to happen, there is a sentient plant in Legend of Mana that you would normally go up to to rec record diary entries and was usually found in the house of the protagonist of that game. So I'm assuming we're about to see the thing with the flower blooming out of its head. Question mark. People say good things happen when you talk to the cactus, but he's shy. Doesn't stay in one place for long. Hey, you're traveling right. Keep an eye out for that little cactus. Okay. I'm probably not going to find him super often. Oh, you could go down here? Well, that's interesting. opens it up a little bit. Yeah, as I said before, I'm probably not going to find him very often, so sorry for people looking for a 100% guide on that. I don't think that's going to happen. So it gives me a reason to look at something other than the mini-map by just walking around. So it should be mostly green. It may or may not be in a pot which is brown. It has like a red flower head. Not sure how well hidden it is. Find out eventually, I suppose. Time for retreat. Oh, the game thinks I'm gonna do combat. That's cute. <laughs> right, chat? Oh, is this like a platforming puzzle? Looks like it is. Oh, I got two in one jump. I was expecting to do more jumps. Uh, I, is Little Cactus down here? Might as well take a quick detour. Ooh, camera is not liking down here. Let me do this. Slightly not enough momentum. Ah, I was just, I just want to try clipping out of bounds every now and then. Do you know what I mean, chat? Like, you gotta, gotta use that little aerial boost just to see if they put the wall there. You gotta keep them semi-honest. Uh, so far I'm really not seeing the cactus anywhere. Ahead, the writing is too chipped to make out. 
Freddy's Krisha. Maybe. I mean, I'm gonna go this way first. Since it seems like a detour. This is my fight. No need to trouble yourselves. Fine, I'll do your little combat. You happy game? Oh, I got clipped. That's unfortunate. Unfortunate clip. I just figure it'd be annoying to not fight these because I'm going through a side area. So I'm like, I'd rather just kill them here. It took a little longer than I thought, though. We should work together to defeat this threat. <sighs> really? I can't escape. Why can't I escape? Well, that's very rude then. I love our allies are like almost dead, by the way. Holy, they're terrible. You know what ally? Oh, cicada earrings. Yeah, our allies are really bad in this game. How are they almost dead? This game is like crazy easy. It's just free defense. I guess I'll give it to him. I mean, look at their health, they're at 23 and lowering because they're getting poisoned. It's so sad. I took like one hit this whole time. Like, <laughs> do better. Holy. I mean, that was a pretty convincing combo for me. Please pick this up. Thank you. Hmm. That's an annoying location. Oh, it's automatic. Yeah, that's definitely the same thing from Legend of Mana. Squeak, 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 squeak. Oh, there's 50. Search for the mysterious moving plant little cactus on your journey. Check all towns and caves you find, since you never know where it will turn up. And every time you find them, you get a stamp. The more stamps you get, the better prizes you'll receive. How many times you've come across a little cactus, and what prizes you've received by pressing X on the map? Okay. I didn't really think about whether or not there would be a map here. I mean, I guess that's kind of neat. I don't think it's necessary with the mini-map, but having a world map there is not too bad. Hmm. Gotta get this nuisance out of the way before we can go. Time for retreat! So they won't let us get to the next town. I'm just gonna showcase it for the sh sake of showcasing it. So we have an opportunity to go up, which will lead us to the caves. If we ignore that, we'll end up at uh, the Zeal or whatever it is, the Night City. But we can't go there yet. So maybe it's just proximity based to the cactus, in which case it's not too bad. I thought I'd have to like find something to interact with. Okay, so I can swap who's who. I just want to showcase some special abilities. That's okay. It's at least an AoE. I mean, I managed to not get hit, and I got a dart, which we know is a throwing item from our previous playthrough. This is the merchant town of Bazir. I was close. The merchant's guild has received intel. The magicians Altina in the north are preparing to attack. You'd be one of their spies. No outsiders are allowed in the city at this time. Go away.
At least now it's like afternoon-ish. So there, there's a time shift. It wasn't very gradual, but it, it happened at least. <sighs> that thing where you have to choose jump or roll to interact. I do not like that, chat. Let me be very clear. I really do not like that. I don't know why they went with that choice. Wait, what? Oh. What? Wait, why can I sometimes land there but not all the time? What? What? <laughs> chat, look at where my feet are. Do you understand my confusion? Look at this. How was... The game works in mysterious ways. I I don't understand where this hitbox this is. is that was very special. We've learned levitation. Yeah, we're putting... We, we never skip ToeJ at the gym or something. I don't know. That was ridiculous. TS gauge is fine. I prefer it to be nighttime to make bosses faster. Oh, I can't jump up there. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like, if you're not looking at the minimap, like, why can't I just jump up here? Like, what's the harm? I just go across the other way there. Feels very weird to make the game more vertical, yet so restrictive. There's gonna be more of a cutscene. But there's a healing pot, which only our allies really need. I mean, I can force them to heal, I guess. But man, they are like brain dead bad chat. What I'm gonna try to do. Let's have them all attack the same enemy. So that way they can maybe stun lock. See how they do here. Hostile entity, be careful. Oh, come on, I hit the roll button. Also, where's the sound? I'm killing these because they're between me and items. I don't need the experience. Wow, Rise actually died. That's embarrassing. Not too bad, if I do say so myself. Got this, at least. Oh, that's so awkward. That's... I'm never gonna get used to that. That just... That, that is so jarring to me. To have it just, like, pull me out of the game to, like, do the little slider. Like, come on. The N64, like, Legend of Zelda had a better day-night cycle. Like, come on. It's like modern days. You couldn't... You couldn't do that without pausing my game? And SNES had no problems as well. Disappointed, chat. Well, it should be boss time if I remember correctly. So let me pop these for CS. Oh, there's a fight in between us and the boss. Oh, we're not. Never mind. Ignored. Who goes there? Valsainen spies, I'd bet. You think you can walk away from us unscathed? Never! Oh, what do you mean? Whoa, that sounds like an overreaction. Stop! You have no reason to attack us. This cannot be allowed. Silence you. You are all enemies of the kingdom. Hey! Bring out those magic devices! We'll trap them on the bridge! Take this! Oh, what? Why did he roll forward with that attack? That's annoying. I'm kind of annoyed that he did that. Oh, 
Oh, that's annoying. Please stop targeting me full screen. How is she dead again? You've got to be kidding me. See, this is hard in the sense that my allies are really dumb. I don't know, chat. <sighs> you know, one thing I really don't want to have to do is babysit them and waste all my healing. Why? Oh, no, 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 that's fine. I see what they did there. We're good, we're good. Yeah, they're really bad. This is not a hard boss. They're just kind of wasting my resources. It's kind of annoying. Please dodge attacks. I'm begging you. You know... <sighs> this is way more annoying than this should be. They got me killed because they took away all of his HP. How is that fair to me? <sighs> I am... I am really not liking our AI for our partners. Like, they're literally just getting hit over and over and over. So that cost me like three cups of wishes. You know what, they could stay dead. I don't think I need them. It's not even a hard fight. I just need them to stop being stupid. Like, it's easy. I just need them to just not take like a million hits. And I don't want to babysit them. Well, thankfully this character has enough damage to be a whole party by himself, so I think we'll be fine. How did that hit me? Hitboxes, please. How did hitboxes, please? Like, I, I don't know. That, that was just jank hitbox. I don't know what to tell you. I'm like behind him and he hit me while not facing me. At least they still leveled. Everyone, retreat! <laughs> that, that voice acting, though. I can't believe we made it. Um, how do we get to Valsena now? I don't know, chat. Now I see where the difficulty of the game is. If our allies literally never dodge, that is a huge problem. Like, that costs me so many items. And it's, like, not hard, either. Like, that fight was easy. And the problem is, like, I swapped into them to use their class strikes, which is not bad in theory. But then they, like, dummy face tank, like, 200 damage. I don't know, chat. That is... That is gonna try my patience very quickly. But what I can say, at least for now... We can increase our base strength for later. Yeah, like, that's, that felt really terrible. I mean, I guess I do payback for now. I got nothing better to do.
yeah, I mean, like, it's it's very simple. It's like, compared to, like, all the crazy stuff we've done on stream, like, we have dodged way more obtuse and crazy things. The chat, we beat East 3. Like, I, I'm like, I'm used to way harder games, but if they're gonna be, like, this stupid, I'm like, I'm very concerned. And the thing is, like... Like, leave five of each item in stock? Like, that's not good! Like, I don't want to be down to five candies in a hard fight. Do you know what I mean? Like, I need something more... I need something between none and, f and five. Because they could end up eating, like, 20 candies. Which is insane to me. I mean, I guess I could tell them to just never use their gauge. If I want to save it for the bosses. I don't know. I don't know how much I want to micromanage the menu. As I said before, one of my least... I can swim. Shut up, Kevin. So one of my least favorite things is, like, micromanaging a whole team. I don't mind, like, fighting in coordination with them. But, like, they are legitimately too stupid to live. I don't know. So, yeah, I went from, like, game is easy to, wow, they're gonna make me solo this whole game, aren't they? Real quick. <laughs> that changed real quick, chat. Like, granted, I didn't buy armor, but at the same time, like, just dodge a damn attack. Like, they're so... It's, like, so obvious it's coming. Like, I got hit by, like, jank hitbox where my foot was not touching the radius it indicated, and I was behind him. And he wasn't facing me, which is like not fair, but you know, I can learn once it happens once. What? The bridge is down? Oh, I see. Well, have no fear. With my Hyper Deluxe Super Cannon version 2, I can fix all your problems. Y you, you renamed it? Oh, never mind that. You need to come into my backyard again. Lickety split! I don't know, chat. I'm, I'm very concerned. Like, they died somewhat fast in the SNES, but like, I actually think they died faster here than they did the SNES. Which is crazy, given how many options they have to just not take it to the face. Like, they seem to dodge the crab pretty easily. I think, chat, we can all agree. They didn't get bodied by the crab, but they got bodied by, like, the biggest windup of all time. I don't need them to, like, perfectly dodge, but, like, I don't know. I, I have some big concerns when we're actually... Like, how bad is Jewel Beast gonna be? Jewel Beast is the upcoming boss and is like one of the more annoying fights I thought from the SNES due to how long it was. Isn't she a beauty? This is the revolutionary ultra fabulous turbo cannon number two. Oh. Hmm. I got so caught up in making this that I plumb forgot about ignition fuel. Nitromite! I need Nitromite to fire this up. Think you can grab some for me? I've got too much work left on my next invention to get it myself. You'll be fine. Where do you think we can find fuel? We should ask people. It's in the mines. <laughs> right, chat? We know it's in the mines. Uh, that is kind of annoying amounts of padding. Like, if they're going to add something to the game, I think requiring me to talk to everybody here is not the way to do it. There's a secret entrance and sun split gap. Okay, there we go. Hopefully, no, we still need to keep talking. The sound must have a very confusing layout. People keep coming up to ask for directions. What? Is that supposed to be a joke? Anyway, I guess we'll talk to you. Look for dwarfs in Stone Split Gap. Don't worry. 
I can sniff them out. Anyway, let's proceed further. I think it's always worth upgrading our, our weapons. I might have to actually get armor. I need them to last more than two hits in a boss battle chat. Like, that was just kind of sad. Like, we, we saw how much damage they're taking. Granted, you know, we were technically underleveled. Still wish you'd never cross paths with us. Please stop chasing me. Oh, I dodged the wrong way. That sucks. Oh, well. Hmm. So I'm assuming every single location in the game will have them, perhaps? At this point, I'm wondering if I should let the AI play as this character, because they're gonna put it they're gonna put his ass at like 10% in no time. Then I'll benefit from his actual berserker ability. So sad, chat. No time for this. Well, we got bonus money for armor, I guess. Oh, that's awkward. I mean, we, yeah, we're legit one-shotting enemies now, so that's always nice. Oh, why didn't it let me do another power attack there? Maybe that's why there's so many healing chests, because they knew the AI was terrible? Like, what? what is your theory, chat? <laughs> It's like, we're playing on normal and they are just not surviving in the slightest. Also, what was that? What was I sliding on? That was weird. Wait, what? Why Why can I not jump to this? Why do I have to go the long way for this? Game, please. I'm shaking my head, chat. Okay. Well, I guess if I just want them to burn all of my healing, I guess I could turn it on. I could turn it on just in theory for boss battles, but it feels like it's not worth making them fight stuff. More healing was the lazy alternative. I mean, that's what my impression is. They're not dodging anything. A little CS gauge for later. I'm gonna need, like, basically full bars. So maybe for boss fights, I'll just turn on, you know, use all CS. Or maybe if I stun the boss, I can do it. I still didn't see what stunned the boss. I was too in shock at our allies dying to uh, observe the UI properly. <laughs> Which, to be fair, is a pretty big shot at how terrible they were. Entities, be careful. I might as well fight this encounter to get our characters leveled more. I missed my charge shot. That was awkward. Yeah, when we're in wolf mode, we basically hard carry every encounter. So chat granted me mercy and the ability to actually do something. Where is Dwarf Tunnel? Near here? I finally get to work out. See this wall here? It's actually an illusion made with refracted light. Go cool, huh? Oh. You know, they used to call this place Gem Belly. Because of all the crystals in the rock walls. The crystals are how the dwarves disguise the entrance. Here, look. So they took out the puzzle mechanic this from the SNES? Looks normal, but I can shine my light to nullify the illusion. I know you want to see, right? That's kind of disappointing. So normally we would have... Here's what the entrance to dwarf tunnel really looks like. Now get in there. So previously in the SNES version, we had to use the ring menu to figure out like what spirit potentially helped us there. But uh, no, the game just does it automatically. It's a bit disappointing, honestly. That allowed more interaction with the dungeon. I actually don't like that they took that out. It felt like a little bit of busy work here and there, but like that one, like you could, it was neat to select it and learn the reason for it. Lara, they're just like creepy eyes in a beard. Village. Come on, let's buy some nitromite.
as I live and breathe. Top soilers. Oh, there it is. There's there's the the voices of racism that is in this game. Anyway, let's continue forward being called top soilers with their slurs. You done saw through our thick entrance, did ya? Well, welcome to Dwarf Village. Hmm. Let's see. Got that. I do like that the companions are just wandering around the town. I do think that's a positive thing. I like that it, it adds like a little more character to it. The wind is so different underground than on the peaks. Does it sound like it is groaning to you? Hmm, I wonder if we go through here later. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? When we went back to Maya, I never looked to see if Little Cactus was added retroactively there. I should have looked. Remind me later, Chan, if I don't remember. I think our goal is to beat the boss of the mines, and then we'll pause for the, the night. I might go to Maya just to get that, just to check. Top soilers get away. Gen gigantic monster was hiding in the in the rocks. I'm not looking forward to that fight with this team. Perhaps I should upgrade our companions. I don't need the armor, but our companions desperately do. Use this. Yeah, seven attack power. Given how long that boss takes to kill, I have no reason to not do this. Come again. So I will sadly be forced to use the armor shop here, I think. It's not just the ore. Here are the gems in the area are highly valued. I thought I was thinking of stealing anything. Well, watch the shopkeeper. Done got a job to do. The tunnel a mess further in. Hoo-wee, let me tell you. Well, uh, there's a lot of monsters, so you uh, should buy some items first. <laughs> I am minding the shop. Note. Welcome. Yeah, I don't really care about using your shop. You're just an item user. I know the AI is terrible, but all these wares are good picks. Man, that was such a waste of cash. This is useful. It feel it feels bad to do this. So I'm, al I'm already salty, chat. I, I absolutely loathe being forced to equip upgrades if I don't need it. Because I feel like we really didn't, but our AI is too stupid. So I think I got everything I needed there. So let's sell our armor to hopefully get some cash back. Oops. We make at least a little bit of cash back. I guess I should use the inn because our companions are fairly injured. Although, how do I get to the inn? Oh, it might be down here, actually. Yeah. Good call. I like how there's just a, a treasure chest in the inn for some reason. Another cobra bracelet. That could be useful. I think preventing poison on our companions is kind of important because they're they're legitimately too stupid to live. Um, why don't you get immunity to poison? <laughs> so so far, item seed is like hard carrying the run because I'm not bothering with most fights. Okay, we got all of our. We're back up to nine cups of wishes if I'm counting correctly. Welcome. I kind of don't want to rest until morning. Maybe I'll just save actually. I'd rather play while it's nighttime. Come again. So I could get some herbs. In fact, let me check to see if it's there. Switch is time to day or night. Yeah, we, it might be worth stocking up on Dream Reed specifically for the werewolf. We at least have one in case it wears off during the boss fight. Hmm. Let's 
continue this way, I guess. So, so far I didn't really see, like, maybe it's not every single location. I didn't really see where the cactus would be. I'm going to double check. Maybe, did I go down here? No, I didn't go down here before. Okay. I'm just, like, trying to think of, like, little side areas that I might have missed. You know, just looking at the map, like, I feel like we went everywhere. Maybe it's not here. I haven't said I've ever really counted how many dungeons and towns there are. magic ropes so I could get out instantly oh I can destroy these okay that's a good sign of interaction okay I like that I like that change I don't like that I can't end the fight though candy eh. curiosity oh I was curious if I could sure so it looks like a one-way which I guess is somewhat more interesting so they made this level more dynamic I really don't want to fight the bats <laughs> right Chad just oh another dream read that's actually huge Oh, they all ganged up on me. That was rude. Uh, let's talk to you. Hmm? Yeah, I'm Watts. Who's asking? Oh, you want nitromite? I got some here. It'll cost you, though, 5,000 lucre. Nope. <laughs> And not an easy mark, huh? Hmm. Fine. I can give you a discount. How's 3,000 lucre sound? Well, even if we had it, I wouldn't give it. No? Guess there's no deal then. <laughs> uh, hey, hey, hang on. Oh, wait. I ain't got time to chat. I'm looking for Gnome, our patron elemental. <laughs> uh, he ain't nowhere to be found. There's just been so many dang quakes and rumbles down here. Mm. I came to check on Gnome, but he was gone. Oh, what a mess. No time to waste. I'll be deeper in the caves looking for Gnome. Oh, wait, wait. He's gone. No Volstana. We can't stop now. We have to try and bargain with Watts. Don't let him get away. Besides, I'm still a little worried that Gnome is missing. I have a bad feeling that I just can't shake. Some more XP cookies, which I'll save for the end of the game. There's no sense in using them this early. I think chat would agree, unless I'm like literally trying to get a class unlock. I don't think it matters. All of us together. <laughs> Try and catch me. <laughs> Retreat. <laughs> 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 
Mm -hmm. So let's see, we went down the side passage there. So I don't have too much to add here. I think we got everything so far. I don't really want to fight the hedgehogs. Although I want is there a BC area in this game? Oh. Yeah, I mean if there's not, I don't see the reason. If there was, I'd fight them for the sake of fighting them. Oh, there's like a chest down there. Hmm. Guess I'll take these items. Really awkward time transition. Thank you, game. Lovely. Got an item seed out of it, though. So there's like little bits of platforming. I think that's fine. Wish there was a little more cooldown between encounters if I wanted to bypass them. Oh, look, chat, the game... Oh, there's the cactus. That was easy to find. On oh, that one, I did have to interact with. You want to discover treasure box? Uh. Find three more for the prize, chat. Well, I got a lot of CS for later, if nothing else. Okay, so cactus does not seem super hard to find, at least. So we'll try to pick up as many treasure chests as we can. Since I'm looking to basically not fight. I'm, I'm building a million CS. Our allies, on the other hand, not so much. So Risei leveling's probably for the best. She's she's gonna need that HP, right, chat? <laughs> How is Hawkeye so damaged? Fortunately, there's at least a healing statue here. Thankfully, right, chat? Could you imagine? If there wasn't, I would be so hosed. Um... I guess I should explore down there, but I don't... Let's go the other way first. I'll take point and leave the rear to you. No time. Take down the enemy. Ah, oh, back-to-back encounters. No time. You'll wish you'd never cross paths. <laughs> kind of annoying. One down. <laughs> At least that fight was pretty quick. Plus it might level Hawkeye. Hmm. So there is like a downward path, which seems like the way to go. Let's go over here first. I'll take point and leave the rear to you. Wait, oh, I got stuck in the uppercut by accident. I meant to just do like a dash attack, but I got excited on the button press. That's not what I wanted to do. There we go. That kind of worked. And I got healing from it. All that for a couple wishes? That's okay. We we might need it for the boss battle, given uh, how death prone they seem to be. Watch out for the enemy. I think I'm doing okay combat wise. Like not the best. Unfortunately, there I kind of got ganged up on. There's not much I could have done there. Oh, so there's nothing even in here. This area was just a trap. Thank you, game, for wasting my time. Unfair. Rude. We cannot delay. Not worth. I guess the MP is more for the spellcaster characters that are with you. We didn't get any spellcasters. Hmm. Where'd this hole come from? 
I got a bad feeling about this. Did you hear that? Okay, time for the boss that I'm a little worried about. Gonna stick around. <laughs> Later. Remember, chat, this boss was really tanky in the original. I'm hoping it is nowhere near as tanky, because this fight was horrendous. If you remember the SNES playthrough we did earlier. Oh yeah, it's still tanky. You know what I'm gonna do? Oh, can I not? I can't use it in combat? Oh, I was gonna switch it to Knight so I'd be Werewolf here. That's unfortunate on many levels. Well, so much for the other strategy I was thinking of. No, we don't know what it's gonna do yet, as it has like the biggest I'm gonna hit you indicator of all time. Uh, what? Why did it turn me around there? Here I thought it was Kevin that had any in intelligence. Something like that. Please don't kill Kevin. Okay. It seems to be taking more damage, which is a good sign. Oh, that helps. I think even they knew that this boss was too tanky. Why didn't she dodge it? Come on. What a waste of an item. Please dodge. Dodge! <laughs> Come on. I'm gonna do that to kind of dodge some hits here and there. Uh, we're gonna spam their CSs manually. There we go. So the game was at least merciful to give us the blue jars, or else that fight would have taken a lot longer. So I think from... Yeah, the stun makes it take double damage. It's very similar to East in that sense. But I think from the standpoint of gameplay expectations, I'm still not visually seeing where the stun is. I'll watch. It's probably something simple with the health bar that I wasn't noticing. All right. So that's the legendary subterranean monster jewel eater. Well, the, the problem is I'm watching our allies too much to determine if I need to heal them. The gap we call Gem Valley. They say that Jewel Eater only surfaces in the valley once every 1,000 years. Oh, you all are lucky. Hmm, the first gnome goes missing, and now Jewel Eater appears. What in tarnation is going on? <laughs> well, my ears done started burning. <laughs> You're all right. 
Well, of course I'm all right. See? There I was, just taking a nap, minding my own business, when Jewel Leader done come out of nowhere and dug a burrow straight through my bed. If I hadn't woken up, I'd have been that monster's lunch. <laughs> Whew. Ooh, <laughs> that ain't nothing to laugh about. Uh, Gnome? We need your help. Oh, <laughs> if it ain't Fairy! <laughs> Been too long, sister! <laughs> With the power of the elementals, we can open the portal to the Sanctuary of Mana. Please? Well... I ain't one to turn down a request from an upstanding lady like yourself. <laughs> Leave it to me, miss! So I was kind of right with how I thought he sounded, or where they were going to go with the voice given the translation of the SNES. Chain powers from Earth Elemental Gnome. So that fight was mostly fine. I think our allies mostly respected the giant big indicator, which again is like hilariously stupid. The training section of... Oh, maybe... Okay, I'll, I'll check to see if there's something else I could do here. I mean, we don't, we can't do any of these, I don't think. Diamond Shard, I think, is Angela. Protection, I think, might be... Uh, Reese. Stone Saber would be if we know Sabers. Given how they were kind of marketing it... Oh, no, I can't do it that way. I'm not super surprised. I... I still don't think we could do anything with stats here, which is why it's kind of confusing it keeps bringing this up. So I think we have a cap of six. Must switch cl classes to allocate more points. Okay, so I can start putting stuff in subcategories if I want to. Um, Payback might not be the worst thing ever to get. If I go light-based with him, I might need spirit anyway. I don't really care about most of the other things here. Maybe I'll go a little bit of payback. And a little bit of luck for crits. Um, I really don't need my HP to be that high. Let's give it to one of our... Let's give it to the person that needs health to keep their bonus. They're, they're gonna need as much help as they could get, chat. <laughs> just, I'm just letting you know. Yeah, and if I get low on health, we'll do the other things. Um... I need either in or... something with him. I don't know if he needs spirit for anything, that's the problem. Poison randomly could be useful in boss battles. I just don't know what his spells use yet, so I'm kind of really hesitant to pick anything. I don't think I care about stamina as a stat at all. Uh, let's max her spirit. Then since we have to do a decent number of strikes, I might as well just put some points in strength. So that way she does more damage. <laughs> oh, oh wait, she does more damage when she takes damage? We might as well just put this one on her full time, right chat? No, she's she's gonna need that. <laughs> just just PS by the way, she's gonna really need that. Okay. So swapping isn't too bad. Just the no pause in between scares me a little. You guys are friends with the great and powerful no. You know, I'm sorry for being so earlier <laughs> uh, here uh, you can have the nitromite on the house oh don't you worry about it no charge <laughs> here uh, i'll send you right back to the entrance to dwarf tunnel with uh, this magic rope 
sure. <laughs> you all take care now. Oh, uh, give my regards to Gnome. At least it gave us the option. I don't think there's anything in here I really want. Oh, it put me here. It's not quite where I thought it was going to put me, but that's fine. I'm going to go back to the town very briefly to see if they added any additional cutscenes. And then what I think we're going to do, we're going to save the other kingdom for later. So that boss battle could have gone really bad if our allies didn't dodge, but that fight, they actually mostly respected them. Like, again, I don't expect them to be like perfect at dodging, but like they literally dodged like almost nothing in that other fight. Like that was hilariously terrible. They took every shot to the face. So they're still taking like 90 damage a hit or so, which is a bit concerning. Also, it's kind of funny that we have Hawkeye as the tankiest character. Also, I love that they basically put his stamina as E rank, but he had so much health anyway, it didn't matter. Kind of like that. Do you have anything new to say? No. I figured we might as well check briefly here. Where would Watts be normally? You know what's kind of weird though, chat? They did change this area quite a bit, but not in a way that like... Maintain some of the character. Like I remember, for example, there was just one dwarf that was just busy mining away in the room. Where's that dwarf? There's like little details here and there that's kind of disappointing. They just have them doing like very static poses. Oh, I guess these two are technically mining away, I guess. I guess they- maybe, maybe that was the room from before, but they added another dwarf. I don't see Watts anywhere in particular, though. Unless this is him. Hmm. Oh well. I think the thing is, is like, I guess we're used to more kind of like modern games where there's like other sound effects and stuff like that. Like, even when I walk around, it's kind of quiet compared to the music. But then again, it's not necessarily a bad thing. Having to hear, shut shut like every time I move would drive me wild. Talk to you briefly. Ah, so not really worth revisiting here, sadly. We'll just leave. So yeah, I think we got we got a decent little way through the game, so I think we could give some final thoughts once we're through this area. We gotta get this nuisance out of the way before we can go. <laughs> Time for retreat. We're gonna be hearing the retreat quotes over and over, chat. Buckle in. I'm not doing these fights. I don't care. So far, for the most part, the music has been good. There's only like one song that I felt was kind of a big whiff. Let's give it to Von Boyash. If that crazy coot still can't get us to Balsena after all this, so help me. We cannot delay. Take down the enemy. Retreat. Chad loves me. Chad just loves. I'm like, look, action game, no combat. It's like, listen, we got places to go. They're not worth the time. We got a level. We're going to do it in like the final area of the game. Like, arguably, I do want to hit level 18 at some point. So when the enemies actually get close to 18, that'll be the transition from our current class to the next class. Bosses seem to give a pretty huge amount of XP. I think compared to the other game. So I think generally speaking, we're somewhat keeping pace, despite me taking very limited fights. Yeah, we're, we're doing walking simulator right now. Oh, there we go. I took a little shortcut. There we go. Nice little jump there, chat. Let's just check around the port one more time just to make sure it's not like, oh, you know, we stuck them in there. 
Wait, did I see something? Oh no, that was Reese. I saw green and I got excited. I was like, never mind. Why? Why? Oh, there we go. I guess he just didn't want to walk over it for whatever reason. Hmm. I thought I saw something, but maybe not. There's a chest over there that I missed earlier. We should at least go pick that up. Just making sure it's not something like right over there or something silly. No, I did see it. it. The game was just being weird with me earlier. Okay, that's fine. Never mind. I did see the cactus. I, like, caught it when we were moving around near the ladder. I'm like, I thought I saw it, but I wasn't sure. Like, I caught a glimpse when I jumped. I didn't see it the first time we went down, though. So that's why I just I just did a double check. I was like, I was pretty sure I saw something. Okay, so why don't we save at the end here? There is an in here, right? Oh, it's over here. So let's save for next time. Let's talk about how we feel about the game so far. Welcome. Oh, fake sleeping sounds. I do not like that at all, chat. That is a pet peeve. I, I had to force skip it. I was not gonna listen to that. I'm sorry. So we'll we'll close out of the game, I think. Which button is that referring to? Wait, how do you quit out of the menu? Wait a minute. Oh, unless I have to hit pause menu to Oh, I have to hit the in the menu, I have to go to the pause menu to leave. That's, I guess that's fair, I guess. I was thinking it was going to be a button at the top. It confused me for a moment. So is there a way to just... Okay, there we go. We can close the game. Well, now we've learned. Let's listen to a little bit of music. So what do I think of the game so far? Uh, very, 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 very easy. How is there a difficulty lower than normal? Like, chat, remember, there's beginner in easy mode. I was like, how young of an audience did they want to tend to? Question mark. I'm already, quote unquote, viewing just the story, not the action. Yeah, the only difficulty is are how bad the AI is. I just... I feel like the challenge is they're going to drain our items if I give them a chance, and I really don't want to. Combat, it, it, the combat actually feels fine, right? There's like... It's like from the standpoint, bosses can get stunned, bosses telegraph moves, there's no unblockables. Like, it is a better combat system than the SNES. The fact that I have to get so many chain encounters back to back doesn't feel great. Transformations faster in this game. Day-night cycle is worse. I feel like they... Some of the places are, are... Mostly hit, sometimes miss with some of the 3D redesigns. I think some of it is not necessarily like what is in the town or not in the town. Like the towns feel very big, but I think it's from the standpoint of, you know, you're seeing the town from a different angle. Like, there's not, like, more rooms comparatively than the SNES version, but I feel like it's a bit space... There's more space to contend for it being a 3D game, so at least some areas feeling a bit less populated than others, I guess is the best way to put it. Not to say that there isn't stuff in the room. It's just not as detailed in some areas. It's not the worst thing ever. Voice acting is all over the place. I don't know how I feel about it in the long term. 
music for the most part has been a hit. I actually like most of the remake songs so far, minus the one song. I, I wish they had focused more on the strings and not uh, other instruments, but I think from that standpoint, I, I think we'll continue. I think it's fine. I think if we were to play another one again, we could talk about what difficulty the chat wants to see. I wouldn't mind, as of right now, doing another playthrough, but we'll we'll revisit this topic when I get to the end of the game to see how we feel about it overall. Escaping combat is like definitely faster, and I think it's fun. Yeah, we're, we're not gonna say that, we're not promising yet. I'm just gonna say right now, it looks good if you want to see another playthrough with different characters. Is it my favorite game so far? No. Has it been overhyped to me? Yes. Is it as disappointing as Terranigma? No. So like, it's kind of in between. It's, it's okay. I feel like if I didn't play like a lot of games like East already, this would have been pretty nice to play. Uh, but we, we've definitely played better action RPGs on stream that are much older than this from different systems as well. I, I do think some of the character modeling looks a little on the cheaper end, and I don't know if it's like aesthetic or like money saving and stuff like that. I don't know how to really frame it. I think some of the characterizations of said characters are a bit awkward. So far, my least favorite character is Reese, unfortunately. Between the between the voice actress and like the general direction of the character, I, I so far she's my least favorite. Hawkeye, I think, is about where I thought he would be. And Kevin is really awkward. It's I don't know if it's the voice actor choice, not even like acting quality, but like the long pauses when he talks about points of interest in the main story is like really awkward. Yeah, like, I feel like with her in particular, like, the way she was talking in that first cutscene compared to the emotional scene compared to the other ones, it doesn't even sound like she's voice acting the same character. Like, it's not like we're talking about emotional range of the actor. Like, literally the way she was saying words and the speed at which she speaks does not match a consistent character. It's like me when I forget how I voice the character between sessions, only this is like a professional studio. Do you know what I mean? Like, she sounded like almost like literally they told her to go listen to Starfire from Teen Titans. And then she went like, I don't I don't know. She she spoke a lot faster. She wasn't doing those kinds of I'm going to end my sentence with a question like kind of things where her voice gets a little high towards the end or she sounds kind of uncertain where she's kind of delivering in one tone. Like, I, I don't know what she's trying to go for, I guess is the best way to go for it. Like, is she supposed, is that like their interpretation of like uptight and serious? I don't know, it's, it comes, it's, it's more awkward than Kevin and Kevin for sure would have, I said so far been the worst dialogue at least to sit through. I, I feel like Charlotte is not as bad as chat was saying. I'm going to be honest with you. Some people in the chat were like, I'll, I'll not I'll not go through the playthrough with Charlotte. And I'm like, okay, we'll skip her. Honestly, it was just okay. I think the voice actress was fine. I think the character is just annoying. I think there's kind of that distinction between like not liking her words to end in W all the time, which is just annoying. I mean, it's her dialogue that's annoying. It's not the character. or the voice actress I mean whereas like Kevin puts the super long pauses in his dialogue which is ultra awkward yeah right like cause you know I mean maybe I have a bias cause we played Valkyrie Profile but I just like the more mature voices on like the cool characters and, you know sometimes if they're you know more higher pitch or whatever a bit more upbeat it's fine but like I don't know, chat. Just certain voices. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. We got Dwagon Orb instead of uh, Lenin, <laughs> which is like not ideal. It's not ideal. Yeah, we got the VP2 protagonist voice instead of VP1. I think that I think that's a good analogy for people that know those two games. 
Where like, there's nothing technically wrong with the acting, but it just is disappointing to hear on the character. Although actually, I take that back. I do think there's some problems with the voice actress. I, I just don't know why she's so different in dif scene to scene. And I'm not even talking about an emotional state. Like her just stating something versus her introducing us to the party is said with like a completely different character voice. It's kind of like Lumina is a very different choice than I would have picked for the character, but that character was consistent in the scenes that we've seen Lumina in so far. Like that's that's where the difference is. She just feels all over the place. And I'm not really sure why she's like that. So I don't know, maybe maybe we'll see with the other characters at some point how they sound. Maybe we'll determine who's the worst of the six. Who who walks away with the prize of worst worst voice acting. Um, but yeah, so far, like, you know, pros. Level ups. I still don't really know what I want to do in terms of spells, so I'm just going to hold the points for now. They replaced the single stat up with on-demand training, and they have kind of like little milestones if I upgrade. So that already feels better than the SNES version. Uh, there's a lot more mechanics going on with like the class strike. Being able to double charge it, I think is actually really cool. So I imagine when we get another class rank, we'll go up to 300% as part of story reasons. So I, I kind of like that. They gave themselves more mechanics to balance it. I just wish the combat from the bosses was like a little faster. And I don't think hard mode is really going to do that. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe it makes them more aggressive. But if all it is is like, Big Dumb Attack does 140 instead of 90. I don't have any interest in playing hard mode. Do you know what I mean, chat? Like, it, it would really have to make it, like, more intense to dodge. I mean, you saw at one point, I literally perfected the crab, which was, like, one of the more annoying fights when we did it in the SNES runs. And the Jewel Beast hit me once. Like, that's it? I think you can agree, like, that's... That's a pretty big far cry from where it was before. And with more generous healing, the game is just much, much easier in general. Downside, our allies are super bad at dodging. I think the problem is, I think I've identified it, because they don't follow your player, like the SNES, and they disengage combat if you don't engage, they are constantly attacking in places where the SNES they wouldn't, and that's causing them to get bodied by these attacks. I think that's the kind of the problem with them swapping between how the SNES allowed movement and the and the modern one. Like they they made it less annoying to escape, but the trade-off is our allies are going to be super aggressive, never really get a kill and just kind of die. Like this is where if you're comparing it to um other kinds of games to avoid this issue you would be able to give your allies commands on the fly. So for example, um, <laughs> controversial, but I'll mention it. Nino Kuni and Tails, for example, allow you to command your allies to force block in like a tactics menu. We're kind of missing that quick tactics menu to kind of iron out bad AI, where like if I do have to micromanage them, there's at least options to do it. In this one, they're kind of on their own and they're just going to take massive damage all the time. So I definitely have big concerns as we get later in the game uh, how that's going to be handled. But anyway, chat, I think that's enough speculation for now. I unfortunately do have to go. So let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. So if you've watched at this point, the video or the VOD, I'd like to say thank you for watching. Hope to see you again next time.